Munancho chat. Hi. Munancho. It's so good to see you all tonight. Give us the cum. The cum man is, is tired. Come on. Have you been taking part in your Shorei PP? I've been saying Shorei PP to myself all day long. Um, I'm sorry I'm, I'm a little bit late here. Uh, there was a lot of troubleshooting tonight uh, with the face rig. Uh, and also with... Uh, it, was, it was actually way less the, the, the face rig. It was way more... Guys, the Naruto fanfics are... Uh, are, are so so bad um i i just some of you guys had submitted some fanfics and i appreciate that thank you for the people who submitted fanfics um they they were they were too good for this stream those fanfics were too competently written and and were too like like they weren't good but they weren't stupid you know what i mean like i'm looking for stupid right uh, I, I want outrageous, outrageously dumb shit to happen in, in these fanfics. So, I went over to Wattpad, and I started looking through Wattpad, and, guys, th there, there are so many just awful fucking, like, a lot of them w were not appropriate for this stream, and I think a lot of you, I think a lot of you understand what I mean by that. A, a, a lot, a lot of them were like, uh, just no good, man. No, no good. Uh, just, just people are like, something about th th this cartoon like inspires an incredible amount of I don't know ho horniness. I have a few fanfics here. I have, th I have three, three fanfics that. I'm I'm comfortable reading here tonight with you guys. Um, one of them, like technically, isn't even a Naruto fanfic. You'll see what I mean. It's uh, and the and the other two are like incredibly short. Just because, and if if they, if they weren't like inappropriate and terrible, uh, and just you know really uncomfortable, they had. They, they were just fucking. I don't know. Boring, man. Just boring. Like, nothing's going on in them. It's like, here's my self-insert taking the tuning exams. It's like, oh, my God. Wake me up when, like, Naruto punches a pregnant woman. You, you know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean? Time for rock hard Rock Lee. I actually didn't see any Rock Lee, believe it or not. The entire day. I spent the last, like, two hours looking at fanfics. And I didn't see Rock Lee once. Like, what the hell? Shellfish Constable. Well, back to your new home, freak. Thank you for 28 months. Say hello to Jabroni Chan. She's new and improved, and she reacts more to the facial expressions that I'm actually making. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit different now. If I want her to show emotions, I have to use the hot keys. They're not working. They are working. Yes. They work now. Uh, so now, she won't... She won't do that... Automatically. But... This is... This is the natural smile. <laughs> and that's the hot... The hot key smile. Uh, no more spazzing. There will be some spazzing. Don't worry. There'll be a lot of spazzing. But I have so much more freedom of, of, of mov movement than I did before. Like, I can, I can do this now. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Like, if I moved slightly left or right, she would freak the fuck out. And, like, twist into an unnatural position. But now I can, I, I can move a little bit, a little bit more freely. I can move my body freely. Which I couldn't do before. Was that her hand? Nope, you did not see her hand. I don't have that technology yet. Hello, everybody. It's me, the bunny chain. <laughs> oh, that's a great... It's an ever-improving project. It's, it's a... 
a work in, in motion. And I'm going to continue to work on, on this on this bitch. I'm going to keep giving her the, the works. Um, the million dollar jabroni. There's always opportunities to make her stronger and faster. Uh, yeah, she's... She's going through an evolution. The evolution of anime. Soon Mike will transfer his consciousness to Jabroni-chan. The future is now, folks. The future is come. Ever-increasing advancements in come technology bring us ever closer to a future. Where we have a world of come at our fingertips. Hold on a minute. Um, Albino Octopus, uh, welcome back to your new home, Freak. Thank you for... 52 fucking months of support? Is that serious? Albino, thank you so much. Damn. And also Vine Sauce Bob, welcome back to the com. Thank you uh, for 19 months of support. Okay, so here's the first fanfic that I have tonight. Hopefully you guys can see it uh, and, and all that. It's called Naruto's Life. Oh, also, because everything had to go wrong tonight. Everything had to go wrong. They fucked up my soundboard. For some reason, <laughs> they completely rearranged like the whole website. That I was using for the soundboard, but there's a search field, so I put an Inception, and now I have like 15 different Inception sounds. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it said dude in there, but uh, let's let's not worry about it. Let's. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? I don't have that one. Did you like the second one? All right, so here's the the two main inceptions. And. That second one is going to get me a fucking DMCA. The last one was Prometheus. That one? <laughs> uh, Generic orchestra DMCA. Guys, DMCAs are not fun. I want to avoid them. No, I still don't have the Gordon Ramsay violin. I want to buy a... Like a stream deck? And then I want to get all the sounds loaded into the into the stream deck. Oh, look what I could do. You know how I'm doing that? I'm waving my hand in front of the cell phone because now I'm using my cell phone for this. Because my hand is briefly interrupting the Face ID technology. The first fanfic is called Naruto's Life. Okay. Chapter 1. The Potion and Curiosity. Guys, here's another problem. I kind of forgot all the Naruto characters. Python Melon. To your new home, freak. Kakashi, uh, he sounds like, he sounds like this, kind of, whatever. Where, where am I? Kakashi thought, and observing the environment. Sir, you finally awake! You finally awake, huh? A voice said, that's, th that's my Naruto voice, that's the best you're gonna get. Kakashi, uh, he took an arrow in the knee, yeah. <laughs> I used to be a ninja, but I, then I took an arrow in the knee. Believe it! Naruto, where am I? Kakashi said, but only barking came out. So let me do the, the voice acting over again. 
Woof, 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 woof. Well, chill, dog or wolf. Naruto said. Dog, wolf, Kakashi thought. Then, he then, remember something. Flashback. Lady Tsunade, you summoned me. Kakashi greeted the fifth Hokage. Yes, I need you to drink this potion, Tsunade said. What will happen? Kakashi asked, examined the liquid in the bottle. It's to turn someone into an animal that matched them for Henge. In case your jutsu sucks! And now I'm making them for the younger generation. Tsunade explained. Nobody would notice another little blue Henji rolling into town, right? In case their jutsu sucks. Oh, was what he said as he drank the whole bottle. Poof. Then there was smoke everywhere. After it was clear, they saw a sliver dog in the middle of the room. And then Kakashi was like, wait, I eat dog shit now. Sure could go for some dog shit. Just a sliver of dog. Yeah, just a sliver. <laughs> That's right, chat. It's a dogification uh, story. I don't, and, I, and I don't know why. I don't know why it's a dogification story. But it was probably, honestly, one of the best fucking fanfics I found for Naruto on this website. Furry's probably... Yeah, but he's not like an anthro dog. He's, he's just a dog. He's just a regular dog. Explain that. That it, Furries doesn't explain that. Wow, we work. Now, where's that antidote? Tsunade said while searching. Um, I don't know who Shizune is. I don't remember. Um, Lady Tsunade, you yeah, you have made the antidote, remember? Rookie mistake. What? Kakashi yelled, but all they can hear is barking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kakashi, I gotta make the antidote first. Now get out! And with that, Tsunade kick Kakashi out of the tower. Get fucked. Enjoy your new life as a dog, freak. Fuck you. It's your problem now. Tsunade was like, no dogs allowed. <laughs> so she turns him into a fucking dog. And then kicks him out and says, it's your problem now. Welcome to your new existence, freak. Yeah. Kakashi's like, fuck, I gotta learn how to be a dog. And then he goes to WikiHow and looks up how to be a dog. How to how to pretend to be a dog. Sunflower Demon says, this is just a new Naruto filler episode. <laughs> They're all filler episodes. What are you talking about? Did we watch the same show? Nah, things happen occasionally, right? Not this episode. Kakashi turned into a dog. I don't want to see Kakashi get turned into a dog. I want to know what happened at the end of the last episode. Fucking Sasuke was strangling the life out of fucking Naruto like Homer Simpson. And Bart Simpson. Can we go back to that, please? I don't want to see fucking Kakashi as a dog. Nobody cares. Bittersweet devil. Way out to your new home, freak. Thank you for 31 months support. Naruto is unwatchable without a filler guide. I watched, I'm pretty sure, every episode of Naruto, and I remember exactly zero of it. A uh, bittersweet devil, thank you for 31 months. Yeah. I can stretch my back without losing. Oh, there it goes. No. Nope. I'm testing the limits of the new, of the new Jabroni Chan. 
Wasn't there a filler episode about Chubby Paradise? I don't want to know what that means. Chubby Paradise. Dumpy Jutsu! Sexy Dumpy Jutsu! Sexy Dumpy Jutsu. <laughs> Mike, why was Jabroni Chant tit neutered? Tit nerfed? She hasn't been tit nerfed. There's no. No changes were made to, to the tits. All right, get out of here. Hi, Mike. Did Naruto punch a, punch a pregnant woman yet? No, sorry, bud. Sorry, no. He throws a kunai into the, the baby bump. She, she lo yeah, the, the model has not been tinkered with in, in terms of physical uh, appearance at all. Just technical things were done to it, you know? Um, I gotta get back to this fic, excuse me. Uh, end of flashback. I found you at an alley all bruised up. So I brought you here, I guess. Naruto said. He, he uses Rasengan on the pregnant woman. Stop distracting me. <laughs> Rasengan! <laughs> One way or another, that baby isn't gonna make it. Believe it! Oh, Kami, why must it be the knucklehead? Kakashi thought. You must be beaten up by a pack of dogs near the market here. You shouldn't go near them. They are not really nice. Well, for now, you will stay here. I would love to send you to Kakashi Sensei, but Grandma Tsunade said he went on the mission for about a month or two, so I'll be taking care of you. Naruto explained. Do you like the voice? Sunflower Demon, uh, welcome to your new home, freak. Kakashi just looked at Naruto lazily until his stomach growl. Hmm, I could really go for some dog shit. Hungry, huh? Naruto said as he walked to the kitchen and cooked some bacons with a capital B, bacons. You have to use a proper noun for bacons, right? Like bacon strips, bacon? What is bacons? <laughs> some bacons, my dude. Uh, you know, just some bacons, whatever. After the bacons were done... He put them in a bowl and gave it to Kakashi. Kakashi then swallowed everything. He didn't even know he was so hungry. What should I name you? <laughs> He's out of breath on, uh, on account of all the chain smoking. Naruto asked. Oh, please don't give me a bad name, Kakashi thought. So. Hmm, what about White Fang? Naruto said. What, my father? No way that's happening. Kakashi shook his head. Look at that. Look. Look at all the head shaking I could do now. Couldn't do that before. Ow, that kind of hurts. Ow. Okay, I'm dizzy now. I made myself dizzy. Yeah, I'm dizzy now. White Fang it is, but I'll call you Fang. Believe it, Naruto said. No, Kakashi growled, but Naruto wasn't scared. <sighs> you know, you remind me of the White Fang of Konoha. He's my role model. I don't care whether he complete the mission or not. He went back for his comrades. Too bad Konoha doesn't understand, Sai. I guess world is really cruel after all. Naruto sight. Naruto is reading the subtitles? I don't understand. He went... I don't care whether he complete the mission or not. 
He went back for his comrades. Too bad Kanoha doesn't understand. I think part of the problem is I just don't remember the, the, the fucking anime at all. Zafani says this hurts much more than the Sonic ones. It's only going to get worse. Mike, you're in perma blep mode. That's not what it looks like to me. Am I still blepped? The bleppies be bleppin'. You remind me of the White Fang of Konoha. He's my role model. I don't care whether he complete the mission or not. He went back for his comrades. Too bad Konoha doesn't understand Sai. I guess the world is really cruel after all. And that's just how it is on this bitch of a world. Yeah, never leave a comrade behind, Dad. Obito, Kakashi thought. Kakashi tried to get up, but fall down to the floor. <laughs> idiot. You should have moved. You're still injured. Naruto said while carrying him and placing him on the bed. I placed some food and water here so you can get them easily. There has a place where you can do your business. And there is the blanket and toys you can play. I'll not be back by 11 p.m., all right? Naruto said while he hinge himself. Guys, we need to figure out what that means. Henge. What does henge mean in this context? We still have no explanation for what henge is. As he hinge him himself? What, what does that mean? What? No, it's the second time in the story... That they're using the word henged and then not explaining what the fuck it means. It was up here, right? It was henge. Oh, it was the Tsunade dialogue, right? She said, it's to turn someone into an animal that match them for henge. In case your jutsu sucks! Henge means shape-shifting in Japanese. Okay, thank you. So why is Naruto henging? Naruto can't henge, right? It's pronounced henge. Henge. I'm going to continue to pronounce it henge because it amuses me. I'm going to henge. The henge is so hard right now, bruh. The henge is real. Kakashi then looked at him curiously, wondering where he is going and why he henge. And Naruto noticed by the look of the dog's face. Ghost, he, uh, uh, ghost host. Welcome back to your new home, freak! Thank you so much for uh, 34 months of support. You must be wondering why I changed myself and where I'm going, right? Naruto asked. Kakashi just slowly nodded since he can't talk. I'm going to work to earn extra mo to earn money, so I have to hedge so people won't know who I am and accept me as a normal person. <laughs> yeah, what a mood for Naruto, right? He has to turn into some kind of fucking animal in order for people to not realize it's him so they accept him in fucking society because, you know, he's the annoying knucklehead ninja or whatever. He has flesh wings. Key lime pie. Well, back to your new home, freak. Thank you for six months. I love you too. Thank you. Yeah, he has to hide his identity to be accepted as a normal person. He has to turn into an animal to be accepted as a normal person. You can also henge 
into other people, not just animals? Okay. Fun. Uh, he has two jobs, so he's going to be back late. He said while walking to the door. Bye! Naruto said while closing and locking the door. Naruto going to work. Maybe if I stay as a dog, I would know more about his life. He isn't that loud. Hmm, something is not right. Kakashi thought as he fell asleep. He isn't that loud. What? Next day. Kakashi woke and made a daze of the sunlight shining right at him. Good morning, sleeping beauty, Naruto said. Kakashi then got up and stretched and followed Naruto to the kitchen. Naruto then placed some dog food that he bought yesterday after his shift was over. Kakashi then swallowed everything. He then turned to Naruto and saw him drinking milk and eating toast. No bacons, though. Go figure. Hmm. I'm gonna bring you out to meet my team. After training, I will bring you to the Inuzuka to check your injuries, and then we can stroll for a while to exercise. And then I'll bring you home while I go to work and do some shopping. After that, it would be about three. Then I'll go training till five. If you want to follow, you can. Then we'll have dinner at seven. And I'll go to work and come back around 11 p.m., okay? Ugh. Now Naruto's Krusty the Clown. Fuck. Naruto said. Kakashi was surprised that the blonde can make a schedule and was so busy every day. Yeah, blondes, they're so dumb, am I right? Gosh. A wave of guilt came to his body for his blonde shaming, and he felt like he wasn't a good sensei. Yeah, random blonde hate, right? I... Naruto, I promise when I return, I'll be a better sensei. Kakashi promised in his mind. Yeah, really, um, the sorry state of Naruto's life is a consequence of Kakashi's, like, shitty tutelage, right? After they finished their breakfast, they went to the bridge where Team 7 always meets. Okay, guys, the chapter stops here. Hope you guys love it. We could tell that the chapter stops here because it's very clearly the end of the chapter. But he favors Sasuke too much. Sasuke was not mentioned. Oh, is it? They're saying like Kakashi favors Sasuke too much. Chat saying that they missed this emoji. I, for one, Fucking despise it. Oh, my heart. But he is a good sensei. He is. Kakashi, you're the best. I love you. I don't get why everybody simps for, for Kakashi. It's like every character has like a symptom. Every single character has a symptom of disease. Every character in this in this fucking anime has a fan base behind it that's willing to murder anybody else indiscriminately to protect their character, right? Kakashi reads porn in front of his students and don't do shit. That's true. I remember that from the anime. He sits there and reads smut. While they're left to their own devices, you know, to, to play with knives and shit. He's like, here's a bunch of knives. Go play around in the woods while I sit here and read this smut under a tree. By myself. Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. Have fun. Oh! That's Kakashi. Chapter 2. Finding, communicating, Zors. 
when they was about a few <laughs> when they was about a few blocks away from the bridge they can see a blackboard pink-haired people standing there did they mean like billboard brow i think they meant billboard brow they got blackboard and billboard confused <laughs> <laughs> Naruto then stopped his track and bent down to Kakashi and whispered. Okay, later I reach there I have to shout so try to cover your ears because I have to act like an idiot in front of them, Naruto said. Let me tell you something absolutely bizarre that I noticed about these Naruto fanfics, right? There was an overwhelming preponderance of fanfics that were like, what if Naruto wasn't an idiot and actually a secret genius? That was so many of them. It was weird. That was the big thing for these fanfics. What if Naruto wasn't really an idiot and only pretends to be an idiot? And he's really brilliant and like the best ninja that ever lived. But he has to pretend to be an idiot for some reason. What, what's that about? Why? Why were there so many of those? They don't want to accept the truth? Because the writers related to Naruto, yeah, and they don't want to accept... That they're seeing themselves in an objectively stupid character, right? Pleco, pleco, welcome back to your new home, freak. Naruto ain't that stupid. He's just incompetent. No, I saw the anime. He's stupid. He's stupid. So that... That was a huge fucking theme for, for some reason. Uh, what else was a huge theme? isekai into the Naruto universe, right? Um, wh one of them was the first chapter was really, really fucking funny. But I closed it and then I couldn't find it again. I I'm gonna maybe one day look for that one again, but... What else? Uh, isekai into Naruto universe. Um, self uh, OC self inserts obviously ties into that in a big way, right? Uh, browser history. Oh wow, you're a genius. Fuck. Uh, you you like the expressions, Dark Misfit? Yeah. There's new levels of J Chan that wasn't possible before. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess the rest of them were just shipping, you know, you know shipping fix. So many shipping fix, right? Uh, new camera soda coma. I'm using an iPhone 10 now. J Taz says she looks different. She unsettles you. I know how to fix that. Hold on. Did I fix it? Is it still unsettling? I'm not don't be unsettled. Oh. Who the fuck said that? I can't find I can't find who said that. Don't talk again or you're in trouble. They're, they're not meant to be Asiago faces. She's blepping again. Does somebody want to explain to me what blep is? Oh, wait. What does blep mean? It's just when you stick your tongue out? When you do the face too much and it gets stuck like that. 
Oh, you know what? That I didn't know that. That was called a blep face. That makes the Yoshi, the name of the Yoshi that I chose for Paper Mario Thousand Year Door so much more appropriate. Cause he's o he he's always blepping that motherfucker. Okay, so he's got to try to act like an idiot in front of them because they're not ready to understand the secret genius of the Knucklehead Ninja. As he stood up and muttered, I hate doing this! Uh, so he resents that he has to hide his true genius. Man, I relate to this character so hard. He then walked towards them. While Kakashi stood there in deep though. Damn, Kakashi in deep though. He be looking deep though. <laughs> He's got the the big deeps like uh, like Pira has the big deeps. I figured out that means DPS by the way. Yeah, the big deeps. Act. He was acting all along. Why didn't I notice? Must look underneath the underneath. Fun fact. One of the fanfics that I was talking about before where it's all about how Naruto is secretly a genius and only pretends to be an idiot was called Underneath the Underneath. Maybe it was written by the same author. I think it, it, that might be like the genre of pretending that Naruto is a, a secret genius. Underneath the Underneath. What? What is this? What is wrong with people? Kakashi then ran to catch up. Hey, Sakura chan, TV! Naruto yelled. Um, Naruto? Who is that? Sakura asked. Oh, it's Fang! I found him at the alley injured, so I took care of him! Naruto exclaimed. Sakura! <laughs> Sakura squealed. Oh my god, I'm gonna squeal! Kakashi sweat dropped. Girls. What? <laughs> Fuck does that mean? His sweat dropped. It sounded like this. So, you found another useless dob for yourself, huh, dob? Dob. Dob coin to the moon. What does dob mean, guys? What is dob? Haru! Gar haru! Dob means dope? It's certainly not Japanese for dog. Then what the fuck does dob mean? Oh, he. It, so the breed of dog that Kakashi is, he's a Doberman pincher? He's a, do, he's a Doberman pincher. That. It's the only thing that makes sense, right? Well, he's not you so useless like me. <laughs> Naruto said while rubbing the back of his neck. After their conversation was over. Yeah, because he's not really useless, but he has to pretend like he's useless for some reason that I don't understand. After their conversation was over, Kakashi watched. As they train, he saw Sasuke teaching Sakura how how to aim. Oh, you want to know what happened here? I got Sakura and Sasuke mixed up. And uh, that happened, by the way, the entire time I watched that anime. They made a fucking mistake making the names of the two characters so similar. Or is it just me? Because the whole time I watched it, I, I, when, like, when they were talking about the other characters, obviously, visually, I could tell them apart. But whenever they were talking about the characters, I was getting them fucking swapped around in my head. They made a mistake naming the characters, period. Look, they're, they're very similar names, sorry. Underneath the underneath is something Kakashi says, and Dobe is dead last. Okay, so underneath the underneath is one of Kakashi's, like, catchphrases or something. And then 
Do okay, so they're saying that basically the dog is a is a loser, because that's what dead last would mean, right? A loser. It's Naruto, Sasuke, and Amy Rose. I understand that these are real names, uh, and maybe I, I, yeah, I mean maybe if you're Japanese or like you know Japanese or you watch a lot of anime, you you could tell them apart, but. I kept having that problem. I'm going to continue to have that problem. I'm going to have that problem all fucking nights. It's dead on. No, I know Sakura is Amy Rose. She's got the pink hair. You know, her her, her like simpage for, for, for Sasuke is, is fucking is pretty similar to what goes on with, with, with Amy and, and Sonic, right? I feel like Amy has more self-respect than Sakura, though, right? Because, you know, Sakura takes, like, years and years and years of abuse from fucking Sasuke and, and still, like, ends up marrying him eventually. I feel like Amy, at a certain point, like, doesn't take Sonic shit and, like, calls him out on his shit, you know? After their conversation was... Okay. Kakashi watch as they train. He saw Sasuke teaching Sakura how to aim the kunai at pregnant people. While Naruto was ignored by both and was sitting down next to him reading Chakra Control. The self-help book by Tony Robbins. Naruto then said, Hey guys, I'm gonna go to the forest that Sakura cut in. I do not want to hear what you're going to say next. Okay, come on, Fag, Naruto said. He wants me to watch him pee? <laughs> Was all Kakashi thought as he followed. Spoiler alert, uh, I read ahead. He doesn't watch him pee. He does not watch him pee. Shore pee pee? Shore pee pee? He does not want to watch the Shore pee pee. P piss baited. <laughs> hey, you know what? You guys got me paranoid. Does he watch him pee? Uh, no, he doesn't watch. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't watch him pee. Does he watch him pee? Does he? Does he watch him pee? Does he watch him pee? Does he? Does he? Does he? He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't watch him pee. He doesn't watch him pee. No, it doesn't happen. But why Why think that, though? Why would that be your first thought, Kakashi? Now I lost my spot. Fuck. Uh, watch him pee. Watch him pee. Where is watch him pee? Watch him pee. Uh, where is watch him pee? It's a surprisingly long chapter. He wants me to watch him pee. I found it. He doesn't. He doesn't watch him pee. Relax. Chill. It's, it's all good. When they reach to a lake, Naruto punch a tree while it break. Oh, shit. I didn't know it was suddenly poetry. And keep muttering something, but Kakashi can hear it clearly. Ugh, why do they keep underestimating me? I don't need chakra control. I control perfectly. Stupid team. Why can't they? Whoa! Naruto screamed, almost falling into the lake, but used chakra to his feet to stand on water. Well, I'm standing on water. Cool! Naruto yelled and walked out and sat next to a stunned Kakashi. Can't wait to tell Kakashi Sensei. Naruto snickered, and then suddenly stop. Fun side note. Uh, so at one point, I was having such a hard time finding the, these, these shitty fix. Uh, bronze glitter, welcome to your new home, freak. That I just went to Google, Google, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. Bad Naruto fanfix into Google, right? And I, fi I find this... 
this Reddit thread, right, where people are talking about the worst Naruto fanfics they ever read. And this one dude is like, I found a fic once where Naruto time travels back to the, the Roman Empire and becomes Jesus and gets crucified. <laughs> And somebody else was like, fuck, can I get a link to that? And the person never responded. So then I went to Google and I typed in Naruto fanfic where he goes back in time and becomes Jesus Christ. <laughs> Couldn't find it, chat. I'm so sorry. I tried. Guys, I tried. I gave it my best. If one of you could find it, let me know. But I, I couldn't. I couldn't find it. Yeah, Google was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, he'll be teaching Sasuke and Sakura. Sai. Why can't he once accept a training session? I asked, I really want to show him my true self and explain to him he's my sensei, Sai. Guess I gotta trade with either Pervy Sage or Aruka Sensei, or even Grandma Tsunade, huh? Naruto Sight. I'm so sorry, Naruto. I promise I'll be there for you. Kakashi so sadly. And gently. Sadly and gently. Jets Fantasy thinks that they found it. Hold on a minute. I want to. I want to do something here. Oh, hold on. This is gonna look weird for a second. It's easier for me to see the face rig if I have it on this monitor. But look what we have, chat. We have. Happy, Angie, this, and um, sad. We have sad, right? And ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> it's the new frontier, baby. The future is now, fuckers! <laughs> the future is now, and it's fucking cursed as hell. You're welcome. It's not meant to be an Asiago face. It's just a regular, like, fun face. You know what I need more than anything, man? I need a new desk. This desk is, like, the main limitation. Uh... Okay. Asiago cheese! Let's go back to the others! Naruto said as they walked back. After training. Okay, bye guys! You like how this doesn't remotely fucking sound like Naruto? I don't even think I can come close to doing that. First of all, it's like a 70-year-old woman who's been smoking a pack a day for like the previous fucking 40 years of her life. I can't imitate that. It's kind of amazing, isn't it? Naruto sounds like Chippy now? Whatever. It's a similar character, isn't it? Like, Chippy likes to eat food, and Naruto really likes to eat food. They're essentially the same character, guys. If you think about it, really. Naruto sounds like Marge Simpson. Alright, let me try this again. Oh, yeah! He'll be teaching Sasuke and Sakura! Why can't he once accept a training session? I asked... I really want to show him my true self and explain to him since he's my sensei. Yeah, it's fucking Toad. That's 
So that sounds more like Naruto than... <laughs> than, than Krusty the Clown. I feel like all my voices are inevitably Simpsons voices. Eat my shorts. They're all just variations on Simpsons voices. Meanwhile, I didn't even watch The Simpsons that much in my life, man. Just try to do Ash, Ash Ketchum. Uh. Pikachu, I love you. Ah, oh, Pikachu, you're my best friend. Fuck you, Pikachu. Fuck you. Eat shit, Pikachu. Shit, that's it. Yeah, you like that? Charizard, suck my ass! So just... So just do basically Ash Ketchum. It's the same voice. Uncanny, that's it. It's still chippy. Guys, I only have like fucking five voices that just get rotated and, and done into like different pitches, right? Hey! If I keep this act up, I'm gonna get a sore throat. What a fucking mood, holy shit. Okay, time to bring you to the Inazuka, believe it! Naruto said. Inuzuka clan. Naruto walked into one of the Inuzuka pet shop where Hana Inuzuka, Kiba elder sister, worked in. Naruto walked in and saw Kiba and his sister. Sup, Kiba? Naruto greeted. Uh, who's Kiba? Hey, Naruto! Who is that, your dog? <laughs> Kiba greeted slash asked. No, I found him at the alley beaten up by a pack near the market. Naruto explains. The guy Naruto farted on? I vaguely remember Naruto farting on, on, on somebody. There's a... Oh, the guy with the dog. Yeah, the guy with the dog. What his jutsu is like he turns into a dog or some shit? Well, he sounds like Mickey Mouse now because I don't care. And now there's somebody named Hannah. Okay, Potter, let's examine to him, Hannah said as he carried Kakashi and placed him on the counter. After a few minutes of Kiba and Naruto chatting, and Hana examining Kakashi was over. That is, that's a hell of a sentence, man. After a few minutes of Kiba and Naruto chatting, and Hana examining Kakashi was over, what? Hey, can you understand what he says? Naruto asked Kiba and Hana. Sure, why not? Hana said sweetly and gently. Oh, thank God. Hana Kiba, it's me, Kakashi. I've turned into a dog by Tsunade. Kakashi bark. Frown was shown on the siblings. I'm sorry, Naruto, but the dog language he speak, I don't understand, Kiba said. Right, because he understands other dog languages because he's dog jutsu, right? Jay Chan's face isn't angry. No, now I have to manually become angry. Eh? <laughs> But I like that she's not constantly angry anymore because I wasn't constantly angry. Yeah, it's some kind of other language we don't know, Hannah explained. Oh, it's okay, Hannah said. I have to go now. Bye! Naruto said, leaving with Kakashi. What a pointless fucking entire, what, like five paragraphs? So the henge potion is really strong, huh? Kakashi Tho. These potions are too strong for me, traveler. I found a Naruto Bible crossover fanfic. Well, does it have raunchy sex in it or can I read it? Hey, 
Hey, why don't we go to the Yamanaka? I'm sure Ido can go into your brain. Naruto said. Man, that sounds like a good fucking time, doesn't it? Well, if it's a Bible cross crossover, maybe the worst we get is like Naruto washing people's feet. I found the crucifixion one as well. Okay, check it out, guys. Vinehart made a Google Doc for you to post your fanfics into. Don't send them on Discord. Don't 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 email them. Put them in the uh, the Google Doc, right? Um. I wonder if we could get a link to that Google Doc. The Naruto Testament. NSFW. <laughs> yeah. Can Jabroni Chan Pog? Is this a Pog, technically? Nah, hold on. They're, they're, one of these is a Pog. No, Tunda put a link in chat for the fanfic doc. So if you find, uh, you know, if you find anything interesting, put it in the doc. Uh, cause, yeah. Trying to find them on my own has been very hard. Hager Trafim has also linked the Google doc. There it is. So, so please... Put the links into into the Google Doc. Uh, am I gonna read those tonight? Probably not. Uh, Cause I do, I do need to look uh, through them first and make sure they're not, you know, they're not too cursed. Faraday three, uh, welcome to your new home, freak. Thank you so much for the sub. Uh, also, Blurple Pie, Frail back to the family. Thank you for five months. Uh, the link was not deleted by Moobot. I can see it in the chat right now. It's right. It's right there. Hergatrafen, thank you so much, bud. Uh, the previous one was deleted. Yeah. Please read the time travel Jesus one. I have to make sure that it's 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 readable. I can't just pop it on. I p pop it on the screen right now. You know. These, these things got to be screened, guys. They got to be... They got to be screened. Naruto fucking, like, jerks off, punches pilot. Guys, you don't fucking know what could happen. And then, you know... And then I'm the bad guy, because it's a, it's a TOS violation. How NSW... NSFW is too NSFW? Uh, I feel like if they make out, that's fine. But if it gets any steamier than, like, kissing, then that's probably... Yeah, that's no good. Any Anything beyond, like, kissing is no good. Right? I'll allow... I'll allow kissing and, and making out. But that's it. Yeah, it can't go beyond that. Uh, we need, um... No kind of, uh... Ex probably, like, excessive gore... Uh, no, yeah, no, no, no words that are gonna, you know, upset people, you know, n none of that. Uh, use, I would say, I would say common sense is gonna apply here. Maybe you guys have heard of, of common sense. Uh, do I need someone to screen them, Mask Otter? I think, honestly, I have to be the final, the, the final say. I have to be the one to, to screen them myself. Peach injection. Okay, listen. So there was peach injection that one time. I guess. Um, that was just comedy. All right. So the one line of peach injection, you know, that wasn't graphic description of, of of hardcore like penetrative sex. You know, that's not what it was. It was like hee 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 peach. Hee hee peach. You know, if if it's like that. That's fine. Again, use common sense. 
Common sense is going to be huge here, guys. Right? Cum was flying everywhere. <laughs> guys, you you know what a, an NSFW like fic looks like, right? Yes, you do. You've all you've all looked at this shit. Don't pretend you haven't. So you think Wario and Eggman's love life is comedy? What is wrong with you? You're right. You're right. I should take that. I should take their love seriously. A love for the ages. A love that transcended all barriers. <laughs> love wins. I'm sure Eno can go into your brain. Mind, Naruto, not brain mind, Kakashi thought. But still, good thinking. So the author is gonna, like, split hairs over mind and brain right now? Get a frick brain, Moraine! They then went to the Yamanak flower shop to find Team Ten there. Yamanaka flower shop. Hey, Shikamaru, Choji, Ido, Asuma Sensei! Naruto greeted. Troublesome, Shikamaru say. Hey, Naruto! <laughs> Choji said while munching on some chips. Hi, Ino said. I'm not, I'm not, I'm done with voices. Hello, Naruto! Asuma said. Hey, Ido, I need your help! Naruto said. What for? Ino asked curiously. I need you to enter Fang's mind. Naruto said. Fang! Asuma repeated. Yeah, I found him yesterday at the alley. Naruto said. <laughs> okay, mind transfer. Ino said as she fell, but Shikamaru caught her. What a drag! Shikamaru said. And with that line of dialogue, I remember who that character is. Kakashi's mind. Oh, this might be NSFW. It's filled with smart! Huh? Where Red Boy? Ino looked around and saw a pack of dog growling at her. That's true, that's the plural of dog. It's like deer or moose. Ah! She screamed and returned to her body. Outside. Ah! Ino screamed and woke up. What happened? Shikamaru asked. I saw a pack of dogs chasing me. She sobbed in Shikamaru arms. Troublesome, Shikamaru sighed. I'm so sorry, you know, I have to go anyway. Bye! <laughs> Bye, losers! Thanks for nothing! Naruto's apartment. I, I don't... I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, don't try to make sense of this. Here's your dinner. Here's your dinner, freak! Naruto placed the bowl of dog food on his bed and changed into black clothing and henge himself. <laughs> henge your bets! Bye, fucker! I'll be back by 11! Believe it! Naruto said. The potion effect is strong, so no matter what, they'll see me as a dog, Kakashi sights. And I thought that the dream sequence here was kind of pretty dramatic. I felt the fear, I felt the confusion. You know, I felt that I really got into the mind, sorry, the brain of the character. This author has some talent. You know, it's a diamond in a rough, but there's something here, guys. Um, child, are you saying we're bad? Um, child. Continue reading next part. Click. 
continue reading next part. Click, 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 click. Whoops, looks like something went wrong. What? Wh what? What do you... What do you mean, that? Did the person delete their fanfic because I was reading it? <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> Oh my god, what? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna try to rectify this. Uh... Please work. Wat Wattpad is dead. Wattpad is at- This story is gone. The story is gone. Can you guys get onto Wattpad or what? Mike, you killed Wattpad? Fuck. First casual dining and now Wattpad. Down detector shows it's down. <laughs> Wattpad down. <laughs> Confirmed. 429, too many requests. Is it? Is it you guys? Is it because all of you are on Wattpad and the, the website can't handle the traffic? The music matches the situation. It really does. Fuck. We did it. We killed Wattpad. <laughs> does this mean that from now on I, I have to like screenshot all the fucking all the Wattpad stories before I go live? There's only a thousand people watching. Even if every single one of you was on Wattpad, that still wouldn't crash the fucking website. That's stupid. You can download the stories? I didn't know you could download the stories. Oh, that's that's what I'm going to have to do in the future, I guess. I didn't know this could fucking happen. I didn't know that this website was this fucking incompetent. I knew it was bad, but holy shit. Probably just a coincidence. This fucking sucks, guys. This the stream is is canceled. Like I can't do anything. Write my own fanfic. Write my own fanfic. I I just I didn't know this could happen. Give it 20 minutes, they'll fix it if someone's on call. Why would anybody be on call? Nobody gives a shit about this website. It's not true. Look at all these fanfics. <laughs> I've been reading. It's AI dungeon fanfic time. Guys. Oh, I'm not, I'm not prepared for AI dungeon. I don't even remember how to do that. There's, there's a website and it just... I'm not subscribed to it anymore. I canceled the subscription. It's easy now. Can I get a link then? I don't have no, I don't have a I don't have an account anymore. I canceled my account. Mike, go read Half-Life Full Life Consequences. What if I just do the free version? Guys, I can't steal Vinny's. Stop saying that. Is the free version okay? So listen, full Half-Life Full Consequences is a... Half-Life fanfic. 
that is very, very well known. I think one night I might just do like a, a stream of that and nothing else. Right? Because it's a, it's a really famous one, so I'll save like a whole night for that. Also, it's like really long, right? Wattpad is back. For you, maybe. Oh, hold on. We have movement. We have a pulse. There's signs of life. Yeah, this is kind of a big wrench in the whole in the whole machine. I, I didn't know this was possible. It's not loading for me. We were on chapter... Th this website is completely fucked, guys. Hi, Chaotic Pizza. I'd shit your pants if you read My Immortal. Good news, I did read My, My Immortal. It's on YouTube. I think. So you could, like, shit in your pants. You, you can shit in my pants right now. If this website is going to be like this, I I can't I can't do these streams anymore. This sucks. I didn't know this was this was a thing that could happen. Fuck me. Possum tots. Welcome back to your home freak. Thank you for 22 months of support. So the website is loading for you guys. The website is loading for I cannot get the website to respond whatsoever, guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 hold on. It was chapter three? Uh, you came at the worst tri uh, the worst time, True, uh, true Blue. Impor very important question. Was it chapter two or chapter three? Was I on? You know what? Who gives a shit? We're back. Chapter 3. Worried and hurt. Kakashi dozed off after eating dinner. After a... He dozed off with a belly full of dog shit. And the whole town applauded for this hungry boy. And woke up by stumbling sound and saw Naruto on the floor. And saw... Many bruised. An error has occurred. We're sorry about that. Are you? He ran to Naruto, and Naruto said, I'm fine. It all right. Come on, let's go to sleep. Yeah! Kakashi then bring Naruto to bed and lick his face before sleeping next to him. He licked his face after eating all that dog shit. Good night, Naruto, Kakashi thought. Next day. Bang, bang, bang! Gak! Open up! Tsunade shouted across the door. Naruto walked to the door and opened it, reveling Tsunade and Shizune with their pet Tantan. No, oh, I thought they smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> Family guy joke. Gaki, open up. What's Gaki? And why are Tauntauns now in the Naruto universe, chat? I read that as Jontron. <laughs> Tauntaun is a frog. 
Okay. Hey, Bachig! Naruto greeted. Do you happen to see a dog with silver fur? Tsunade asked. Oh, you mean Fang! Naruto said, rubbing his eyes. Fang? Tsunade repeated curiously and gently. Yeah, I found him at the alley all bruised up, but there's something weird about... Naruto said. W weird about what, Naruto? Um, how weird? Tsunade asked, afraid that he might find out. Uh, I brought him to the Inazuka to check his bruised and ask what he was talking about. But they say they don't understand what he was saying and the Yamanaka entered his brain, but they said they saw dogs in his brain. Believe it! Naruto explained. Kameda's ass, thank you for the gift sub. Skull Jester, welcome to your new home, freak. Mind, Naruto, not brain, mind. Tsunade corrected. The author has a strange fixation on this. Oh, sorry. Naruto apologized. There's nothing to be sorry about. I just need to borrow Kaka- uh, uh, Fang! Tsunade said in relief that she didn't say Kakashi's name. Oh, okay, take him. I'll fetch him after training, okay? Naruto said. All right, Gaki. Tsunade said as she brought Kakashi to her office. Hokage Dalu! Okay, Kakashi. Here's the antidote. Tsunade said as she placed the antidote on the floor. Kakashi used his mouth to take some papers and a brush. He then wrote some stuff on the paper. With his lack of opposable thumbs? How did how did he how did he write without opposable thumbs? He put the, let's just let's assume he, he picked up the pencil in his mouth and he wrote it uh, with with his with his mouth, okay? Paper Tsunade Sama. I'm going to stay as a dog for a while. I need to know more about Naruto's life. So far, I found out he has two jobs and worked to earn money, and he always put on a mask to hide his pain and sadness. But don't get me started to what the villagers do to him. They abuse him because they think he's the demon. I'll change back next time when I come here. You know, if you want to find out what's going on in Naruto's life, you could simply, like, ask him in English as a human, right? What is this, this, this plot? Why do you need to spy on this fucking dude? Just... I hate this. I hate this so much. Okay, Kakashi, since that's your request, I allow it and tell me everything once you transform back, okay? Tsunade said. Kakashi just nodded and headed to the training ground to find his team. Training Ground 7 At the field, Kakashi can see Sasuke and Naruto arguing about something, so he walked up to them but make sure they don't notice. Come on, Dobe, fight me, unless you're scared, Sasuke yelled. We can't fight without Kakashi sensei around, TB, Naruto yelled back. I always knew, I knew you were always a weakling, Sasuke said, walking away. God, he's so cool. Fuck, he's the coolest cat character in any anime ever, forever, oh my god. Baka, now you made Sasuke mad. You know he's in charge. Sasuke yelled. And that's it, Sakura and Sasuke cross the line and Naruto mask falls. Since when the Kakashi Sensei said he's in charge! Naruto yelled. Even if he didn't say, 
we all know he's better than you! Sakura yelled back. Oh yeah, why don't you give me a reason? Because you're a dead last and you screw things up! Fucker! Naruto was so hurt that he ran. He ran to the forest. He ran as fast as he can, not even looking back. He ran there, what, like, he ran like there was no tomorrow. That's my fault, sorry. He ran with hurt. He ran with loneliness. He ran with stressfulness. He ran without love. <laughs> Kakashi saw and ran to search for Naruto in the forest and saw him near a tree singing a sad and painful song. Welcome to my life. Do you ever feel like breaking down? Do you ever feel out of place? Like somehow you just don't belong and no one understands you. Do you ever want to run away? Do you lock yourself in your room with the radio on turned up so loud and no one hears you screaming? You don't know what it's like when nothing feels alright. You don't know what it's like to be me. To be hurt. To be lost. To be left out in the dark. To be kicked when you're down. To feel like you've been pushed around. To be on the edge of breaking down. And no one's there to save you! You know, you don't know what it's like. Welcome to my life. Do you want to be somebody else? Are you sick of being so left out? Are you desperate to find something more before your life is over? Are you stuck inside a world you hate? I think of everyone around with those big fake smiles and stupid lies but deep inside you're bleeding! <clears throat> now you don't know what it's like when nothing feels alright! You don't know what it's like to be like me! To be hurt, to be lost, to be left out in the dark! To feel like you've been pushed around to be on the edge of breaking down and no one's there to stand you! <sighs> Bike. Welcome to my life by Simple Plane. Simple Plane, the most regular basic band you've ever heard of. They're simple and plain. Plain and simple. Yeah. <laughs> plain and simple, just how I like it. It's a real song uh, that I've never heard before. So I have no idea what it sounds like, so I just made it up. There's a note for every lyric. I'm left in the dark on my mind. All day. 
to feel like you've been pushed around, to be on the edge of breaking down and no one's there to save you. Big same. Oh, big, big same. Big same. I'm trying to duck so you can see it. Big same. Oh my god, big, 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 big same. He copy and pasted all of the lyrics to the song. And then, yeah, made a typo at the, <laughs> at the end right there. <laughs> okay, guys, the chapter stops there. Hope you guys love it. Comment below and don't forget to vote for it. Apparently there's voting. Itache is daddy. Naruto, baby, come here. Don't worry. I'll kill Sasuke and Sakura. So that they won't hurt you anymore. I fucking swear. You know what, Sakura? I mean, useless, dumbass, weak-ass piece of shit. My chainsaw wants to meet you. It's not that... It, it's not that violent because actually, like, a Sakura is a tree, isn't it? So, like, it makes sense. This comment may be offensive. It's from 19 hours ago, yeah? <laughs> These are fresh fix, guys. A fresh turd. <laughs> Freshly laid turds. Itachi is dead. Yeah, coming into these comments was a fucking mistake. Chapter 4. All good things must come to an end, chat. Chapter 4, the end. Kakashi felt bad for Naruto, so he ran up to him and cuddled next to him, howling silently. That's the silent howl. Sounds like nothing. Yeah, howling silently. That That's like... What was it in in that other fanfic? Oh, did you see that? Let me see if I can replicate that. Help! Help me! Help! <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Your mother sucks cocks in hell, yeah? <laughs> oh, she needs an exorcism, yeah. Um, what was the other fanfic? The, uh, the dark sunlight, yeah. The somewhat dark sunlight, Jalamity. Remember that? Jalamity says, I've thought about it every day since. Good. I'm glad I could create a lasting memory for you. This bitch needs a priest. <laughs> Naruto, it's okay. I'm here for you. Don't be sad. Please be happy. Naruto noticed Kakashi and was a little startled, but relaxed after that. I'm fine, fag, Naruto said. But Kakashi knew that was a lie after he saw the event. So he just did, his, he just did a serious face to Naruto. Really, I'm fine. Because I have a person that accompanied me. Naruto smiled while scratching uh, Kakashi ear. The face rig is failing. Okay. So here's the issue that I'm running into right now. The cell phone battery life is at 20%. And I just got a notification for that. But I don't understand that because the fucking phone has been plugged in this entire time. So maybe the app, the, the face rig app, is, is, is so fucking, uh, like, battery intensive that the battery can't be charged as fast as whatever. It's probably hot as hell. It's pretty hot. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. Try flipping the plug? What are you talking about, flipping the plug? 
When Jabroni Chan dies, she she dies. Okay, A end the story. The the charger is plugged into the fucking USB on the computer. All right, like like I said at the beginning of the stream, it's a it's a fucking work in progress. We're working on it. Move it to a wall outlet. There's no fucking wall outlet anywhere near me. All right, maybe I'll do a BRB at some point and we'll fi we'll figure that out, okay? But right now, let, let me finish this fic. I'm fine because I'm not alone. I'm fine because someone's here. I'm fine because you're here. I'm fine because you care. Is that more simple plain lyrics? Let's head back. Naruto said, ready to head home. But Kakashi bite his jacket, pulling him to a direction as if he wants him to follow him. Naruto then obediently followed Kakashi to the Hokage Tower, and was curious how he know and why is he bring him here. Fuck. Maybe because that Thai Bachan brought him there, and he remembered and maybe Bachan told him to bring me to her, to tell me something. Naruto so. Hokage Tower. Ah, oh, Kakashi, you... Naruto? Tsunade said. Kakashi, wait, you don't mean... Naruto stiffened and turned to Fang. Yes, Naruto, that's Kakashi. I let him test on one of my potions and I haven't done the antidote, so I told E to go back home and kept this in secret. But he was a dog, so can't reach for his keys and was beat up, but you just in coincidence came in, so now he was safe and I wanted to change him back, but he said he wants to know more about your life. Tsunade explained. It's true, Naruto, a voice said. Both of them turned around and saw Kakashi. He already drunk the antidote and turned back to human. Sorry if I just entered your personal live, but if I had told you, you won't show the truth. Kakashi explained while rubbing the back of his neck, which explained nothing. So you were the- so you were there. You were the one who saved me from my pain. Proper noun, my pain. Kept me company, reminds me that I'm not alone. You were the one? You were the one that did all those things in the simple plain lyrics? Naruto said tears starting to form in his eyes. Yes, Naruto. After what I found out, I can't see you getting hurt, so I have to interfere. I'm sorry if I entered your personal life without permission, Kakashi said again. No, please don't leave. I, I don't want to be alone again, Naruto said as warm tears streamed down his whiskers cheeks. Kakashi leaned forward and huge him and said, No, you won't be alone. You have us. Tsunade, Jiraiya, Asuma, Kurinai, Aruka, and the nine rookies. But, but Sasuke and Sakura hate me, Naruto cried. We don't hate you, a voice said. They turned their head to see Sakura and Sasuke standing there. When you ran, we knew we were wrong, and we're sorry, Naruto. Sakura said. Um, yes, yeah, so sorry. Sasuke hesitate to said. Because he suck in apologizing. <laughs> yeah, he does. He suck in a lot of things. But, but that do doesn't mean you're not a dolb, dolb. Sasuke added. You too, Tavi. Naruto cried as Sakura and Sasuke went over and the whole Team 7 hugged each other. Well, this is kind of awkward, Tsunade said. Ah, uh, Bachan! You ruined our happy moment! Naruto whined. All right, all right, sorry, Tsunade said, waving her hands up in the air for defense. And the whole Team 7 laughed and fell to the floor, and Naruto was never alone. BELIEVE IT! Okay, guys, the chapter stops here. Hope you guys love it. They're just copy-pasting that. 
mood. The story got renovated at one point. So this was renovated in 2016 and there were people leaving comments 12 hours ago? What was it? Nine hours ago? If the story sucks, I really can't do anything. Don't worry about it. No, it doesn't... It doesn't suck. Relax. It's, fuck, it's fine. It's fine! It's fine! 2019. Yeah, it's a literary classic. Naruto's life. It was, uh, it was on Barack Obama's fucking uh, books I read this year list for 2016. You know how every year Barack Obama puts out the stuff I read this year? Yeah, <laughs> he had this on it. Naruto's life, number one. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I have to stop the stream to do uh, some troubleshooting here. Fuck. Um, and find out what the fuck is going on. Yeah, because if the camera dies, then if the phone dies, no more, no more Jabroni Chen. Uh, and I know that's the reason that the vast majority of you are, are, are here. Renovated implies that there's a worse version of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. The, the phone should be, should be charging. I got an idea. Hold on a sec. Um, I'll be back in like two seconds. Okay, I'm back. USB outlets charge slower, Tita. Is that true? So, what if I have a USB outlet in a in a like a power adapter thing? Like I have a power strip here that I have all my PC shit plugged into, but it also has a USB uh, charger in it. Will that be better than the, than the fucking P the PC USB charger? You guys are like, yes, you don't fucking know. I'll be right back. Who wants to guess what fucking happened? I fat fingered the uh, the 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 on switch for the surge protector, and fucking destroyed my entire house. It turned off the PC. The, the PC's fans made a sound I never heard before. It was terrifying. Guys, I thought my computer was going to fucking explode. Germa moment. Well, at least when Germa did it, it was funny. It, this, it wasn't funny this time. It was just fucking sad and terrifying. Mike is streaming from a smoking crater now. It was pretty funny. No, it wasn't. It was trust me it was not funny it, you, it, because i saw the germa clip right his, his fucking toe hits the uh the off switch for the surge protector and he goes oh fucking god damn and then he's in the middle of fucking cursing be and then the stream cuts out <laughs> it, was, it wasn't it wasn't like that if only it was like that but now the phone is plugged in so anyway here, here you go here's your Fucking anime, bitch! Look, she's mad now. You made her mad. All for, all for Jabroni Chan. You happy? Here you go. Here it is. Break her neck again. I think I will. Let me see if I can replicate what I did. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> neck snapped. Wow, what a fucking night. What a fucking night. Mm. Not, nothing has been going my way today, guys. Nothing. Everything has been fucking complete shit. Th this whole day has sucked complete ass. All of it. 
A part of me, when I was down there, right, after I turned the thing off and I was trying to figure out why my internet wasn't coming back after I turned it back on, I'm sitting here like, uh, should I just not go live again and just, like, go to a bar or something? Like, it just really, it's been that kind of day. And then I remember fucking COVID happened, so I can't even go get fucking shit-faced. Welcome to Mike's Life by Simple Plane. <laughs> I had a moment where I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go get drunk. Fuck this. I blame Sega. Sega really had nothing to do with this, but you know what? I like that. This is Sega's fault. You didn't see us all composting wanting you back. No, I missed all the composting. Can you do it again since I missed it? Oh, wait. Ah, uh, that warms... That warms my heart. Thank you, chat. Thank you for all that cum. Oh, look at that. This chat is full of cum. Wow. Man, that just... Warms my... Warms my crusty heart. Damn. Okay, guys. I got another fanfic here. <clears throat> this one's called... The Bet. Right. We're gonna just go ahead and uh, skip the intro because I don't want it to be. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, you like the? Do you like the blingy? Yeah. yeah. Sasuke's POV. I Sasuke Uchiha. Just lost a bet with my friend Neji Hyuga. It's not fun if you lost a bet, especially to your chat, because then you have to become a cat boy. Especially to Neji, he'll make you do horrible or embarrassing things just for the sake of his fun. And guess what I have to do? I have to date the nerd Naruto Uzumaki. If you think it's simple, it's not, because that's not the end. I have to date him, and then when I know that he's fallen completely in love with me, I have to break up with him and tell him I was just messing with him. Yup. So Sasuke goes on fucking <laughs> wikihow.com <laughs> and looks up how to pretend to be in love with someone <laughs> for the for the second time tonight. These characters find a use for WikiHow. Can you believe that? Neji's a complete sadist, even worse than me. And worst of all, he picked a nerd as a target. I mean, a great Uchiha like me partnered up with a nerd? That's a big no-no. Neji's POV. Can you believe it? The great Sasuke Uchiha just lost a bet with me. Oh, I know it's going to be fun. I can't wait for this to start. Evil grin. Let the games begin! <laughs> Sorry, it's so short. There are a lot of complicated stuff going on in my life, so I can't think straight. We know. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I will shove this stick up your ass. Alright, thank you for that contribution. Thanks a lot. Bumping to each other. Sorry for the late update, Sasuke. Why do I have to be paired with Naruto? Because you're perfect for each other. Why am I a nerd here? I'm too awesome to be a nerd! Shut up, I'm the author, so shoo! Miyuku. Mike, go back and read the first commenter's name. The dead are among... among... Sasuke's POV. I was walking in the corridor thinking about the bet. Of all those people in the world, why would that bastard Hayuga choose Naruto? I mean, look, I'm popular. He's a nerd. But when you put two together, you will see that it's a big no-no. 
But anyway, a dare is a dare. I was suddenly snapped out of my thoughts when someone bumped into me. I look at the person. He have blonde hair and azure eyes. He panically pick up his books when I noticed that the guy I bump into was Naruto. Perfect chance to start the bet. I bent down and started to help him pick up his things. He look up to me and blush. S -s -s Sorry, Sasuke Kun. I wasn't looking on w where I was going. He said while stuttering with a blush on his face. Hmm, no worries here. I gave him his book and help him up. S -s -s Thank you, Sasuke Kun. He said nervously. It's okay, just be careful next time, I said while walking away. The author's name is, um, Mephobia Peachy Froggy? Yeah. That's what I'm going to call my low self-esteem from now on. Taco Tangler says, I feel like the author knows what this is. It's not written awfully. Are you reading the same thing that we're reading or what? I was shocked when Sasuke Kun helped me pit to pick up my books. He usually would not even look, let alone help someone. I said sorry to him, and surprisingly, he answered back without even grunting. Believe it! Sasuke Kun is really popular in school, and even out the school, he's always with his popular friends, consisting of Neji Hyuga, Gara no Sabuku, and Shino Aburame. Their family, including the Uchihas, are the top five richest families in the whole world. Number five, the Uchiha clan. Burger King foot lettuce. So it will be a shock for someone to not know them. Uh, hold on. Bun time says what family? Oh, no, I I'm missing a... It, right, right, they're, they're all dead. That That's the point of his character, right? They're all dead? <laughs> yeah, so what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> they're all dead. Everybody knows this. I, I forgot, but I did know it. I just forgot it. The five of them also have a fan club that is being led by the three most popular sluts. Sluts! In school, named Sakura Haruno, Ino Yamanaka, and last but not least, Karen Kamichagugu. Karen Kamichagugu. Uh, where is it? Where? Where is it? Where? Where is it? Come on, where is it at? Oh, here it is. There it is. There she is, Karen Kamichagugu. <laughs> That's her, right? That's Karen? Karen is now me-phobia. <laughs> the three most popular sluts in school! A author's note. I don't want to use Uzumaki, so I used Sugumi. I have no idea what you're fucking talking about either way, so it's fine. I was shook by my thoughts when the bell indicating that school is over rang, so I quickly ran up my locker to dump my things. Sorry if it's short, I really don't have that much imagination going on right now, so yeah. So there's a character in Naruto named Karen uh, Uzumaki? Why don't I remember that? It was like Naruto's sister or something? Who, who's that? Karen is of the Uzum. I don't remember this. I don't remember this character. Anime simps. Sluts. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm worried about these comments. These comments are... These comments are fucking me up a little bit, man. I don't really... I don't really like them. Look at Sasuke the cat boy. 
Sasu Cat. And they're in they're in love. What what could what could go wrong? Impossible. Naruto's POV. After the encounter with Sasuke, I went straight to the cafeteria. I was looking for them when I spotted Neji talking to Sasuke, looking serious. Well, he is always serious, so it's normal. That's me trying to do that emote. I was snapped from my thoughts when I heard Kiba calling for me. I look at his direction and saw that all my friends are there. I waved and walked over to them. Hey guys! I shouted while grinning. <laughs> Hey, Naruto, Shikamaru said lazily as always. So, Naruto, Kiba said, wiggling his eyebrows. Guy, I forgot how many fucking characters there were in this show. Damn. I heard you, you had this encounter with the Prince Sasuke. <laughs> I just bump into him, Kiba. There's nothing more, I said. Oh, were you sure he seems interested in you? <laughs> He said teasingly. Kiva, it's impossible for a popular like him to like a nerd like me. I said while huffing. But Naruto, you're the very first person he helped. Normally he'll just walk past you, but now he helped you. Shikamaru said, looking amused. You guys want to do a little bet of our own? Let's have a bet, guys. Let's do let's do some fucking betting. Do you think that and I know the answer to this cuz I read this. But you don't. Do you think that by the end of this fic Sasuke will fall in love with Naruto? Or will he not? Yes? Okay. No? Well, no. It, it looks like nobody's gonna vote no. So, you know. What if he doesn't, though? That's a big fucking payday if he doesn't. Think about that. Think about that, man. Big fucking payday if, if he doesn't. Anything could happen. There's the vote. Will Sasuke fall in love with Naruto? Can I see... Where did the fucking thing go? Can I see the vet? The bet? Why did it, it... It it appeared and then immediately vanished. Okay, what wh whatever! It's impossible for a popular like him to like a nerd like me. Yeah, Naruto, my youthful friend. I also noticed that he was staring youthfully at your back. Lee added. There he is. <laughs> there's, there's Rock Lee. He was staring youthfully at your back. How do you stare at something youthfully, guys? It's impossible. Sasuke is too perfect. He won't have interest in a loner like me. I love Lee. I love you, Lee, even though I'm a lesbian. Na Naruto supremacy. Naruto, I would jump off a cliff just to be, to be able to meet you, so... I I'm not looking at the comments anymore. They're, they're too fucking weird, man. They're weirder than the Sonic comments! Sasunaro. All, all things good in this world. Neji's crush. Sasuke's POV. Finally! 
Yeah, it's a photo bucket. <laughs> it's a fucking photo bucket. <laughs> Stock image, man. This person paid to use that. Well, it wouldn't have the, the watermark, but... It's funnier if you imagine that they paid to use that. Baron Zenu, welcome back to your new home, freak. Thank you for two months of support. After the incident with Naruto, I went to the cafeteria and saw that bastard Neji laughing. Author's note, sorry if Neji is OC. And went to punch, went to him and punched his arm. Right, because Neji, his thing was like, he's, he's so edgy that he doesn't fucking like smile or laugh. Edgy Neji. That's why he's named that. I just real I just realized that Edgy Neji. <laughs> he wasn't edgy, he was just a fucking asshole, right? Neji is the blind looking guy. Yeah. Yeah, the guy with the Byakugan and he gets all like the fucking thick like cock veins on the side of his fucking head. Whenever he does his fucking jutsu, yeah, that guy. That the guy whose head turns into a veiny cock every time he does his fucking his jutsu. <laughs> yeah, what was that for? Neji said, rubbing his arm. I glared at him. Why were you laughing? <sighs> Did you see your face while helping the Rudo? He asked. My face? I asked, touching my face. Was something on my face? Yeah, your face looked like you're constipated. <laughs> he said, laughing more. That's impossible, Neji. An Uchiha like me would never make such face. I said, glaring harder at Neji. How dare he say that about me? Neji stopped laughing and, and, begins to stare at someone. I followed his gaze and saw him staring at Chikamaru. Oh, why are you staring at Shikamaru? I asked. Wh wh what? I wasn't staring. That's right, I wasn't staring, he said nervously. Oh, I get it. Little Neji is having a, a crush, isn't he? I said teasingly. <sighs> this, this one fucking hurts. You know what, though? Not as painful as the next one that I have here. The next one that I have fucking sucks real hard. Real fucking hard, chat. Real fucking hard. Like, get ready. Like, enjoy this one because the, because the next one is unbelievably bad. Sh shut up. So how's with the, the the Naruto? Did you make a move yet? I sighed. Not yet. I'll make my move later. You you better move fast, Sasuke. He said seriously, and at that exact moment, Naruto went in the cafeteria. Wow, Mike, you're really hyping this. I'm actually trying to downplay it on account of how fucking unbelievably bad it is. Tutor. Naruto's POV. Yeah, you saw squishy Naruto? Yeah. <laughs> Lunch was over, and my next period is math. T -t 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 -t. What? The voice is murdering my throat. I gotta take it easy. Especially because the next story is insanely long. Like, way too long. Like, I might skip chapters in the next story because of how long they are and the fact that nothing happens in them. I made my way to class and sat in my chair. After a few minutes of waiting, our teacher came and immediately starts teaching. That's, that's, that's what they do. It's so boring that I began to doze off. <laughs> Learning sucks! Believe it! But that was intercepted when the teacher shouted at me. Oh, so like the show. Like, <laughs> yep. 
That didn't even occur to me. Yes, exactly like the fucking show. The fanfic has filler chapters. Mr. Mr. Uzumaki, your grades are already low enough, Potter. She shouted. Why don't you try listening for just once? I pouted. But this math is so bowing. I said in my cute baby voice. But this math is so bowing. <laughs> She sighed. I guess I have no choice then. She looks at Sasuke. Mr. Uchiha, would you mind tutoring Mr. Uzumaki? Sasuke smirk. I wouldn't mind at all. In fact, it will be a pleasure. I blush, but quickly covered it. Why did he agree normally he would just get annoyed and tell the teacher to ask someone else, and now he seemed kinda happy. No, impossible. Why would be happy in the first place if he's gonna be together with a loser like me? Why indeed, Naruto, why indeed? Skid Ray. Fair back to your new home, freak! <laughs> Thank you so much. Sasuke's house. Can I, um, just do a little, a little quick? Uh, would anybody mind if I just did a quick, uh, I just want to do another. I did read this, but, um, you know, I, I mean, I, I skimmed it, so I just want to take a second. Uh, okay, now this one, this one's fine. This one's fine. Um,. There's, there's one, there's one scene I'm like a little bit, a little bit worried about. Yeah, if I see anything fucked up, I'll just hit the, uh, the off switch on the power strip again. <sighs> that definitely did irreparable damage to my computer. If you heard the sound that I heard, you'd, you'd be like real concerned for the health of this fucking PC. Naruto's POV. It's dismissal time, and I made my way towards the school gate. I noticed that Sasuke was there. I approached him and bowed. I I'm sorry for arriving late. I mumbled. He pats my head. Wait, Pat! Sasuke Uchiha fucking patted my head! Believe it! Hmm. It's okay, Dobe. No need to sweat it. Anyway, let's go. My house is only near our school. He said, ruffling my hair a bit. I blushed and nodded. He started walking ahead me, following behind him. Suddenly, he slows to a stop, making me stop too. I look up at him in confusion. Uh, what is it, Sasuke-kun? I asked. He furrowed his eyebrows together. Why aren't you walking beside me? I repeated his question and unconsciously giggled. <laughs> my eyes widen in shock, and I slap a hand over my mouth. It's as wide as her eyes get. I hear Sasuke chuckle, and I glance at him and give him a Why are you laughing look? He just shook his head and smiled at me. Yes, smiled! The great Sasuke Uchiha just smiled at me! You should smile and- wait, nope. Wait, who's saying that? You should smile and laugh more. You look more cuter that way, he, he said and grabbed my hand. Let's go, we're almost at my house. Imagine telling Sasuke he needs to smile more. Dr. Ball says, I fucking hate this. Oh, you're going to hate it a lot fucking more in the next chapter. 
I blushed again as we made our way to his house. Now this got me very nervous. I don't know why, but I feel like something unexpected will happen. Whips out the ball, though. <laughs> Oh, it all comes back to Baldo, doesn't it? It all comes back to Baldo in the end. All right, so they just kiss here. Uh, it's fine. It's just... Naruto's POV. After minutes of walking here, I am now in Sasuke's room. Laying on his bed with, hot, with Sasuke on top, hovering over his flushing feces, hoping for a slurp. UA451. Well, back to your new home, freak. Thank you for 52 months of support. <laughs> Can't you see, Naruto? I love you. He said sincerely, and once again, he kissed me. Alright, so they're making out, whatever. I'm not gonna read all that. I feel like that's gonna upset people. Uh, it's upsetting. Look, it's upsetting me, man. Alright? I'm looking at this. I wanna make sure there's nothing bad in here. Yeah, there's nothing bad. It's fine. There's one line of dialogue later that is so fucking cursed. I don't know. I might I might I might not read it. It's so fucking cur it's it's not explicit, but it's just insanely fucking cursed. Pay out? Don't you dare fucking pay out! Are you kidding me? Don't you dare pay he's pretending to be in love with him. Did you forget? That is not no, no, this is not over. Are you kidding no, not not at all. We got a long way to go. Naruto's POV. I was walking beside Sasuke, nervous as hell. I know that he's gonna tutor me, but I feel like something big is going to happen, and I can't I can't just put my finger on it. So the previous chapter was just like a tease. Like that didn't actually happen. It was just a little bit of like a I don't I don't know what the fuck happened, chat. It said teaser at the top. All right, it was just a little... A little teasing jutsu, you know? <laughs> I guess Sasuke saw my distress look. Because I felt someone ruffling my hair. I looked at him and blushed. Why are you, you ruffling my hair, Sister Sasuke? <laughs> I said, barely above whisper. He shrugged and continues to ruffle my hair. You looked like you were worrying about something. If you want, you can tell me. I shook my head in embarrassment. No, no, I'm fine. I just remembered something. God, why should I stutter so much? He looked at me, not convinced, but nonetheless he intertwined our fingers together. I blushed furiously and gently, but didn't pull my hand away as he led me to the direction of his house. We stopped in front of a huge blue house, or should I say mansion? You could have just said mansion, asshole. Sasuke must have seen my gaping look. Because he is trying to stifle his laugh, in which he is failing miserably. I howl and huff like the kid I am. Still trying to cover his laugh, Sasuke pulled me hard in his chest, not that I whined or anything. I'm sorry, Nar Naru. Your face just looks so c c cute. He liked take tears from his eyes, so laughing to watch. 
not noticing it, he shakes his arms from my waist and he drags me in, inside his house. I want... I want to just... Hold on. I want to make sure it's, it's, it's cool. He dumped me on his bed and hovered over me. Okay, I'm I'm gonna just go to the next chapter, okay? Go to the next chapter. The kiss. <laughs> Alright, listen, listen. This this paragraph is gross. This paragraph is gross. It, it's. Can I just read the one sentence, please? I'm just gonna read the one. Say, it's not even explicit. It's. It's just. It's just uncomfortable. But they're kissing, right? He says, "I blush darkly, but open my mouth when he licked my bottom lip. I feel his tongue explore my wet cavern." Making me moan. <laughs> what do you mean, wet cavern? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? His mouth. He means his mouth. They're only kissing. They're only kissing. He means his mouth. <laughs> his mouth. Wet cavern. Uh, well, hypothetically, if, uh, if if her cavern is wet, then you need to be taking her to the doctor. You should not be having sex with her. This, you should not be making out with Naruto. If his if his cavern is wet, then he needs to see the, the doctor. You should not be making out with him. It, his cavern should be totally dry, hypothetically. For the sake of, for the sake of the argument, completely hypothetically. Wet ass cavern. <laughs> wet ass C word. Naruto, I want to ask you to go on a date with me. He asked, caressing my face. I blushed darkly. Again! Blushed darkly. Here, I'm just going to avoid the cursed paragraph, okay? I blushed darkly and shyly nod. Yeah, sure. I'll go on a date with you, Sasuke. Yeah! Believe it! He smiled and hugged me tightly. Then meet me tomorrow at Ichi Ichiraku's at 10 a.m. I nod and we continued our study lesson. I can't wait for tomorrow. One reader told me that uh, he, she wanted to know what happened after the kiss. So here it is. I'm just going to do a quick censor. I, I want to look at these comments real quick. We got dumb bitch 222 weighing in with the smiley face emoji. And we've got shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm reading. I got murder on my mind. Yeah. Yep. Jabroni Chan is perma blepped again. I fixed the blep. I fixed it. I'm going to the next chapter. Hold on. Uh, I just want to take a look. Yeah. Okay, this is this is this is nothing. They go on a date. R remember, remember when Robotnik and fucking Wario went on a date? Where did they go? Like Z Zabaros or something? Where did they? F <laughs> Where did they go? <laughs> checkers. Yeah, they went to Checkers. They went to Checkers in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> and then Wario scored. Inject Pish. The date. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together 
is success. What do you mean there's a Sparrow emote? What the fuck is that doing here? What, does Sparrow have a Twitch account? Is this like Chuck E. Cheese? What is this shit? Naruto's POV. I was preparing for my date with Sasuke, and I can't stop thinking about the different scenarios that can happen. Author's note. Wiggles eyebrows. Naruto, you pervert. I, ha I heard someone knock on the door, and I rushed towards it after making sure that I looked okay. Ein Harrier, thank you for the gift subs. Wow, Viper's Bite, Blue Chronicle, Erikios, Lunaru, and Perky Agnostic. Welcome to your new homes, freaks. Thank you so much. I sighed, this is it. The momentous truth. Like the moment of truth? You mean... I slowly opened the door gently and instantly got nervous. Ugh. I shook my head, ridding all the negative thoughts that's coming. I fully opened the door and was instantly greeted by a smiling Sasuke. Hey, Naruto, are you ready? He asked. I gave him a small, shy, cute, adorable, sexy, irresistible, ah, whatever. I gave him a smile. End of story. Nah, I'm kidding. God, this stupid heartbroken author is driving me inside. Coughs. Back to the story. Well, so much for the fourth wall. And the fifth wall, and the sixth wall, and the third wall, and the second wall, and the first wall. This place looks like my fucking house right now after my computer exploded. My fucking cell phone just went into, like, airplane mode. Jabroni Chan's gonna die any second. I gave him a smile and nod. Yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. He took my hand and intertwined our fingers together. Again with that shit! I'm just imagining them, like, twisting their fucking fingers ar around each other in a completely unnatural m fashion. Like, kind of like just spaghetti fingers. Like, I'm not imagining them holding hands. Like snakes, yeah. Like snakes. Let- then let's go. He gave me another smile and lead me out. We got at the Ichiraku's just in time. We took a seat and ordered our food. I just noticed that Sasuke kept staring at me. Was there something on my face? Uh, Sasuke, is there something on my face? I asked. He seemed to snap out from his daze. Yes, the definition of perfect is on your face. Oh my god, my heart. Oh, be still. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, who knew Sasuke was smoother than diarrhea? Author's note. I know, I know. Lame size. Sorry, sorry. Just can't forget about my breakup with my boyfriend. Man, this is almost as bad as how Stephen King keeps writing in, like, authors that get hit by cars into all of his novels. It's like, oh, my God, we get it. Steve, you got hit by a car. I know. It was like 20 years ago, dude. Get over it, man. I blushed at his words. Luckily, our food came before I could say anything. We finished eating quickly and started to know more about each other, that is, until Sasuke pulled out a teddy bear under the table. Here, Naruto, it's for you. He handed me the bear and gave me a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Thank you. 
I blushed, not knowing what to say. This is the perfect day ever! Is that a Stephen King trope? Uh, I'm exaggerating it, but yes. Yeah. Like crippled authors who sometimes actually get hit by cars. Yeah, it is. It's like, dude, oh, we know. We, we, we know. We know you got hit by a car 20 years ago. Bro, my poor baby doesn't knock. This is all fake. I'm going to beat Sasuke up. I'm about to read this. If I cry, it's your fault. He doesn't knock, chat. He doesn't knock. He doesn't knock. Look at this. Look, I don't believe it. He doesn't knock. I swear to God this stands for... Okay. Okay, there's an author's note that I'm ignoring. Um... I just want to make sure there's no, like, peen. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, no peesh. No, no peesh. No peesh. I'm not, I'm not- I'm not- I'm not reading this. Fuck off. It was Monday today, which means school! But surprisingly, I'm excited to go to school. Maybe it's because I want to see Sasuke- OH MY GOD! I still can remember our date, and every time I remember the date, I can't help but blush. Plastic squid. Well, back to the family, peesh. Thank you for 52 months of support. Holy fuck, that's a long time. Wow, thank you. Ultima Weapon says, why are you looking for Peach? I did read it, but I just skimmed it. And the last time I just skimmed it, it like, I fucked up. So I just want to... I'm, I'm double-checking, basically. 52 months. I think that's, like, the second person tonight who resubbed, who's been subbed for, like, 50-something months. That's fucking nuts. Hi, Cheesy Draws. Honestly, if you think about it, this fic is kind of fucked. How so? Elaborate. I was walking down the school corridor when I saw Kiba waving at me frantically, thinking it was an emergency. I quickly approached him. But boy, was I wrong. My good day just turned to the worst day of my life that I just wanted to die. What happened? Look at how this is written. Kiba quickly grabbed me and round me up in a corner. What's wrong, Kiba? I asked. Naruto, the Sasuke's been lying to you all along. He said nervously. What, 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 what do you mean, lying? I asked, confused. A uh, while ago, I was about to go inside the classroom when I heard Neji and Sasuke talking. Naruto, it was about a bet, he said, trying to calm himself. So, what's up with that? I sighed, more confused. The, the bet, Naruto, it's about you! Neji and Sasuke had a bet. The bet was that Sasuke was supposed to make you fall in love with him. Kiba tightly squeezed my shoulders. I quickly ran to find you after I heard what they're talking about. I know that you deserve to do this uh, because I don't want you to be hurt further. So please, Naruto, as a friend, I advise you to stay away from Sasuke. Scoopy, Panoopy! I nodded numbly. How could Sasuke do this to me? I never did anything wrong to him. How could he? Even with that little amount of time with him, I already fell in love. How could he? I don't... Believe it! Cheesy Draws, thank you for the resub. Welcome back to your new home, Freak. Dun, dun, dun!
I don't have the law and order sound effect anymore. Oh no! Naruto now know about the bet, what will happen now to his relationship with Sasuke. Well, you just have to find out in the next chapter, haha. <laughs> Wait, look. I swear to God, Light, please hand me the death note. I have a person's name in mind. I have to write it there. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder whose name it is. Alright, there's no... There's no pish. Alright. Oh, uh, somebody, somebody discovered fonts. It says, first of all, first of all, do you guys know Weekly Chris? Because if not, watch the video attached. He's so freaking handsome, like hell, and he is also hilarious. I love you, Chris. This is how people talk about me. He's so freaking handsome, like hell, he is also hilarious. Watch the video? Okay. Naruto's POV. I ran, ran, and ran away from school. Let me guess, he's gonna sing the fucking Flock of Seagulls song in the next chapter? Just now, I want to be left alone. What did I do to deserve all of this? I've been kind. I didn't fight off my bullies. I don't plot revenge on the people who hurt me. So why do I fucking deserve this? Why do I fucking deserve this? It's a fucking umlaut. Why is it an umlaut? Mike, why are you bouncing? Because I'm jiggling back and forth in my chair. No good? Guys, remember how these characters are supposed to be ninjas and shit? Have they done anything remotely, like, n ninja -ly in this entire story? It's an AU, Mike. Oh, uh, so, what does that stand for? Ass Universe? Ass Universe, because it's ass! Ass Universe! Amogus chat? Of course, Amogus. I slam the door of my apartment open and quickly seek confinement to my room. I kept crying and crying, not knowing what to do next. I'm such an idiot. How can I even think that someone as popular as Sasuke will like me? I'm so stupid. So naive. I gave him my first kiss. I gave him my trust. I gave him my everything. Even in that short amount of time we've been together, it was like my world revolves around him. He was my world, my life, my muse, my strength. He's the light in my dark, gloomy life. And most of all, he's my hope. My hope that someone can still love me and someone still cares about me. But I thought wrong. Author's note, I shall drop the bomb starting now. I looked at the corner and saw the bear Sasuke gave me during our date. It's now my only memory of him. I pulled it to my chest and squeezed it tightly until I felt something hard inside. Passive paranoia. Well, back to your new home, freak. Thank you for three months. You're watching this at work? Luckily, I'm going to try to keep it safe for work. Something clicked and strange sounds start to come out. It's a bomb! Oh no! Boom! Exploding bear jutsu. I heard Sasuke's voice. Hey, Naruto, I just want to tell you that even in that short amount of time I fell in love with you 
Forgive me if I hurted you, but I want you to know that I changed my mind in something that can greatly affect us. What? I backed off from the bet, so I want you to know that I'll do anything for you, even if that something is for me to step on my pride. I love you, Naruto. Don't forget that. Pay up? It's not over yet. What do you think will happen next? You better thank Weekly Chris, because if not for him, then I won't have any inspiration to update. Thank you, Weekly Chris! You like this edgy font that they used for no reason? Who's Weekly Chris? He's lying. Burn the bear. <laughs> Burn the bear, baby. Okay, what the fuck is this? Okay, there's no peach. Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? What do you mean that's Naruto and Sasuke? Where are the whiskers? K-pop problem? Dashy run run run. Thank EXO and BTS for this update. Called it, yeah. Daily challenge search for some EXO song titles and comment it. I put... 12 EXO song titles. Find all if you dare. To any V-Cook fans, here's some V-Cook for you. DJ. I have no idea what any of that means, and I love it! Love it! Naruto's POV. I dropped the bear from shock. My mind still hasn't wrapped around the idea that Sasuke loved me. Does he really love me? Or is it a plan to hurt me again? It's like everything suddenly slowed down. I jump out of bed and rush to put my shoes on. I need to learn the truth. After putting my shoes on, I immediately called the cab and instructed it to the direction of Sasuke's house. So he's got, like, a self-driving cab at this point? He instructed it, like there's not a human being driving this fucking thing? I saw this, like, article on Twitter the other day. It was about how, like... It, w it was, like, the art... From, from an article, right? And it had the headline of the article. And the article, the, the headline said, Which should a self-driving car hit? And the art showed a car driving down the street. And in front of the car, there was a baby and an old lady. And there was like a question mark over the self-driving car's head. <laughs> so it's like an ethical dilemma for the self-driving car. You know, if it has to make a choice of whether or not it can hit a baby or an old an old person. What if it hit neither? Like was that some was that a possibility? No tunda. Uh well back to your new home freak. Thank you for six months of support. Get a load of this! Beep beep boop boop. Robotnik's making self-driving cars to mow down Amy Rose now. He's not even behind the wheel. He's just letting the AI do it. <laughs> uh, 
Zooted Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> Zooted Elon. He went on Joe Rogan again. Fucking cider. He had a nice tall glass of THC infused cider on Joe Rogan. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the person quote tweeted the article. They were like, wow, the future sure looks bright, doesn't it? Yeah, we have self driving cars, but bad news they have to run over either babies or old people. We, you know, we can't just have like self driving cars that do neither. We have to pick one. <laughs> like that's, that's the technology. That's it. It's kind of a catch-22, right? Yeah. You can have self-driving cars. But! There's a catch. It's a little bit of a, like a monkey's paw, right? You have to choose. They either mow down babies or old people. <laughs> After putting my shoes on, I called the cab and instructed it to the direction of Sasuke's house. You may think I'm a fool for doing this, but I need to look for my El Dorado? What? What does that mean? Like the road to El Dorado? He's looking for the secret gold? He's looking for the, the hidden treasure? Car Carter Milan. Back, back to your new home, freak. It's the oh, it's the K-pop reference, of course. It's the fucking K-cop. K K-cop. Hold on, what's the angry button? <laughs> God, that makes me angry. Man, I'm so angry. He needs that sassussy. No good. Without much thought, I paid the cab driver and bolted to the front gates of Sasuke's house. I pressed the doorbell multiple times. Seriously, if no one opens the door after a minute, I'm gonna lightsaber this gate? Okay, so they're not Jedi's, uh, uh... They're not ninjas anymore, but they're Jedi's now. Okay. It seems like an eternity when Sasuke finally- Tell me the lightsaber this gate is a fucking K-pop lyric. It seems like an eternity when Sasuke finally opened the gates. I almost tripped myself. Uh, I almost... <laughs> I almost tripped myself trying to rush over him. I hugged him tightly when I reached him, never wanting to let go. Is it true? I asked. Do you really love me? He hugged me back as if his life depended on it. Of course I love you, Naruto, he said. I was planning to explain the bet to you and apologize to you at that time. But like a thunder, I was too late. As somebody who, who has never heard a K-pop song, I'm finding it remarkably easy to, to pick out all the lyrics and song titles. Like a thunder, like a champ. Yakuza 7 like a thunder. It's okay. You don't need to explain anymore. I gingerly cupped his face. I heard the message you left me at the teddy bear. Tears began to leak from his eyes. I'm sorry, Naruto, for being an idiot. For deceiving you like that. I should have never accepted the bet, he said through his sobs. Chat's saying pay up, but how do you know that this isn't part of the manipulation? You don't, you have no idea. Guys, you're forgetting. This is Sasuke. 
the biggest manipulative cocksucker ever in anime. Or, or, or anything ever, really. Think about how much Sasuke sucks. You think he's not capable of, of this level of deception? Because he is. He's the absolute worst. Come on! I smiled. Idiot Playboy, we should be thankful! Idiot play- they're not even trying anymore. I giggled. <laughs> if it weren't for that bet, we wouldn't have fallen with each other. Now please promise that you'll love me right! Song title. Yes, I promise. He softly whispered. I grinned. Come on, Sly, let's put all the bad things that happened into history! A sudden cough brought us back to reality. But seriously, I thought I was gonna have an overdose from all those cheesy lines you guys said to each other. Complained Neji. Sasuke gave a growl. Shut up! Neji rolled his eyes. Dad, by the way, Naruto, tell Shika to call me, baby. Cloverbot says, call me, baby, did slap. I'm about to slap you. I narrowed my eyes. Seriously, Neji, what is love to you? If you hurt my friend, I'm gonna go all wolf on you. I'm not afraid to let out the beast. Believe it! Simp, I guess. Cap. What? End. Final chapter. The the wet ca cavern makes a return. Cap? No. Then no cap? No. The video above is the awesome. MV of BTS. Wow, I don't care. I sighed happily as Sasuke and I walked towards school hand in hand. I feel his gaze, so I looked at him quizzically. Why? Why staring at Sasuke? I asked. Nothing, I was just wondering why you look so happy, he said. I giggled and grinned at him. <laughs> it's because we are officially dating now. He smirked and pulled me closer to him, which made me squeal in surprise. Yuck! Sasuke laughed and kissed my forehead. I'm happy that you were able to hear the message from the teddy bear. He smiled fondly at me. If not, I wouldn't know... ...on how I can approach you and beg for forgiveness. I smiled at him. I'm glad that I also heard the message from the bear. At least I got to know what really happened. Sasuke and I arrived at school, and many people stared at, at us as we walked into the entrance. I clutched Sasuke's arm tightly, and he rubbed my hand assuringly. Ignore them, babe, Sasuke whispered. Don't mind them, I'll always be here to defend you. After all, you're mine, and I'm yours. Just kidding, nerd! You fucking loser! You thought I was actually in love with you? God, you're such a stupid fucking nerd, Dolby! Get fucked, Dolby, nerd! And then Sasuke pantsed me in front of the entire school, and everybody laughed at my small ninja peepee. -pee. The end. Pay up.
Pay up, chat. Pay up, fuckers. Pay up! <laughs> uh, it didn't happen. It says the end. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> uh, whatever. Super short ending. I know. Kill me, haters. Fuck you. I got, uh... I got one more here tonight. It is extremely long. I'm probably not going to read the whole thing. But before I start... I want to say thank you to everybody who uh, came out tonight. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for sticking with me through all the technical difficulties and bullshit. Guys, I really appreciate that. Those of you who, who stayed. I imagine a lot of people left when that happened. I mean, I was offline for like fucking 10 minutes or something. Um, but for the people, yeah, if you put up with that and you stuck around. You know, that shit happens sometimes, you know? So, if you stuck with me regardless, I, I appreciate that. Thanks. Um... That was a lot of bullshit uh, to put up with. Um, the view count stayed the same. Like, like I told you guys, I, I, I don't, I, I try not to look at my view count ever, but I just had to assume, yeah, after being offline for like fucking ten minutes, that'll make a bunch of people leave. But if that didn't happen, that's fucking pretty crazy. So thank you, guys. Uh, also, thank you for all the subs, resubs, bits. You guys are fucking awesome. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, also, guys, uh, if you're new, you can uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter and YouTube. There's links in the chat. Right. Uh, and I will look at the art later. Just uh, make sure you put it on the Buru, okay? Now, the next story... It's called Naruto the Two Bloods. Now I don't want to ruin anything, so I'm not I'm not going to say anything else. Okay? I will say one thing. I'll say one thing. This story had to be approved by the Pentagon. And may or may not be military propaganda. New Mexico. Out in the New Mexico desert, a remote research facility is in a state of panic. It's an evacuation. A swooping helicopter flies in. Chaos. Men in suits run around like in the typical we have to leave fashion. We have to leave! Soldiers on foot jump into Humvees, accelerating the hell out of there. A voice bellows from hidden loudspeakers. Standing a few yards from the landing pad, a man wearing a fancy suit with shades peers at the helicopter as it lands. Walking out of the helicopter is a woman wearing shield uniform. Following her, a man wearing a black trench, trench coat along with an eye patch. Hill and Fury approach Agent Coulson. How bad is it? Fury asked. How bad is it, motherfucker? Fury asked. That's the problem, sir. We don't know. Table Bard, thank you for the gift sub. Uh, or well, welcome back to the family. Agent Coulson leads Hill and Fury through the radiation section of the facility. Hundreds of technicians and other staff run around, taking only the essentials. Coulson said, "Doctor Salvig read an, ener an energy surge from the Tesseract four hours ago." <laughs> Fury reminded, NASA didn't authorize Selvig to test phase, motherfucker! He wasn't testing it. He wasn't even in the room. Spontaneous advancement, he replied. It just turned itself on? Asked Maria. Fury asked, What are the energy levels now, motherfucker? 
Colson said, climbing. When Selvig couldn't shut it down, we ordered the evac. How long to get everyone out, motherfucker? He asked. Campus should be clear in the next half hour, he replied. Do better, motherfucker! Nick order. <laughs> Mike, please don't do that. Why? What's wrong with it? Why? Because you guys are getting free insults? They headed down radiation facility floor. Yeah, Nick order. Fury asked. We should tell them to go back to sleep, motherfucker? <laughs> Does the Rudo look like a bitch? <laughs> Sasuke, you're trying to- Are you trying to fuck the Rudo? Does the Rudo look like a bitch? <laughs> Sir, evacuation may be futile. Hill informed. We should tell them to go back to sleep. If we can't control the Tesseract's energy, there may not be a minimum safe distance, she replied. I need you to make sure that Phase 2 prototypes are shipped out, motherfucker! He ordered. Sir, is that really a priority right now? She reluctantly asked. Until such time as the world ends, we will act as though it intends to spin on. Clear out the tech below. Every piece of phase two on a truck and gone. He order. Yes, sir. She turns to the standing agent. With me. Fury enters the lab facility where the Tesseract is being held by a compact muon solenoid coil chamber. Talk to me, motherfucker. So Fury said. Dr. Eric Selvig emerges from behind the CMS machine, concerned. The Tesseract is glowing unusually brighter and flare rings shoot out at random. Director? He said with acknowledgement to the men. Is there anything we know for certain? Tesseract is misbehaving, he easily replied. Is that supposed to be funny, motherfucker? Fury snapped. Say the Tesseract is misbehaving one more time! Uh, th no, it's not the funny at all. The Tesseract is not only active, she's misbehaving. How soon until you pull the plug, motherfucker? <laughs> she's an energy source. If we turn off the power, she turns it back on. If she reaches a peak level... Eric spo spoke worriedly. Yeah, you ready for, like, Swedish Mario? <laughs> <laughs> We've prepared for this doctor, harnessing energy from space, he reassured the worried doctor. We don't have the harness. Our calculations are far from complete. Now she's throwing off interference, radiation, nothing harmful, low levels of gamma radiation. Fury blinked his one eye for a moment. That can be harmful. Where's Barton? The hawk? Up in his nest. As Joshua? Up at the catwalk, a man dressed in black tactical gear is up on the railings watching them below. Fury calls Barton on his earpiece. Agent Barton, report! Fury ordered. Barton rapples down from the catwalk, walks up to Fury. They both walk around the facility in a discreet manner. I gave you this detail so you could keep a close eye on things, he told him. Well, I see better from a distance, Hawkeye replied. Are you seeing anything that might set this thing off? One of the NASA scientists spoke to Eric. Doctor, it's spiking again. When's Naruto gonna show up? Who the fuck is Naruto? Who? Literally who? Literally who? No one's come or gone. Its oven is clean. No contacts, no IMs. If there was any tampering, sir, it wasn't at this end, Barton explained. The cube is a doorway to the other end of space, right? The door is open for both sides. Dr. Selvig clacks away at the keyboard and sees on the monitoring his worst nightmares. 
Suddenly, the Tesseract thunders and shakes the entire facility. Big enough where both Agents Hill and Coulson can feel, and they're at different ends of the facility. That's big, chat. The flaring rings and glow of the cube spout out brighter and louder, like a boiling pot of water. The Tesseract's energy builds up into a beam, much like the Bifrost Bridge, which hits at the end of a platform that is wired to the CMS device. The great maelstrom beam fires the Tesseract energy. The beam then forms a vortex, which then opens a portal. A black hole is created from the portal, the blackness of space. Beautiful and mysterious, strewn with a billion stars and a gust of blue energy clouds fills the room, blinding everyone. The Tesseract's energy forms into a cloud that reaches to the top, to the top, the facility's vacuum chamber ceiling. It's abnormally quiet. Then, heavy breathing is heard from the platform. Shield guards approach, uh, slowly approach, gently, weapons in hands. A figure is kneeling off the platform, smoke coming off of it. Is it Naruto? Nope. It's Loki. Smiling in his mischievous manner, he raises his head. Like this. The smile dies down. He looks deep into the eyes of Fury, Barton, and Selvig. He stands up, holding the scepter. S -s scepter. Sir, I pursue you, Twitter, and I please put down the spear. He demanded, aiming his pistol at him. Loki looks at his spear, then suddenly points it at where Fury and Barton are standing and shoots out a blue exploding light toward them. Barton tackles Fury, and they both barely miss Loki's fired shot. Machine gun fire is shot at Loki, but the bullets bounce off him. Loki jumps high from the platform and attacks those firing at him. In the blink of an eye, Loki takes down several guards with his knives and energy blasts from the scepter. He stops and waits to see who will attack him next. The whole lab has almost gone to shit! Barton tries to stand up. Loki quickly walks towards him. Barton raises his gun, but Loki grabs Barton's hand. You have a heart, he murmured. Loki points the head of his spear at Barton's head. Barton's eyes suddenly glow black. The ability to control Barton's mind is now in Loki's hand. Barton pulls, puts his piece away and stands straight, as Loki is busy using his abilities to control the minds of several S.H.I.E.L.D. personnel. Fury takes the Tesseract, placing it back into its case, and tries to leave the lab. Please don't, I still need that, he said. Nick turned around. This doesn't have to get any messier, motherfucker! Of course it does, I've come too far for anything else. I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. Loki, brother of Thor, Selvig said, in surprised. We have no quarrel with your motherfuckers, Fury firmly said. An ant has no quarrel with a boot, Loki taunt. <laughs> this person just does not understand the concept of sentences. So am I right? So, so chat is saying that this is one-to-one -one the script of like the fucking Avengers movie? It's not copy-pasted because of all the typos, right? Like, look, Loki taunt. You know what happened here? This person was watching the movie and just was like typing out all the all the, the sentences of dialogue. <laughs> like what? While, while they were watching it? Yeah. You planning to step on us? Fury demanded, a heavy scowl on his face. I come with glad tidings of a world made free. Free from what? Fury asked. Freedom. Freedom is life's great lie. Once you accept that in your heart. Like a gunslinger, Loki turns to face Selvig, who's standing behind him, and places his spear against Selvig's heart. Selvig's eyes glow black. You will know peace. This is exactly the dialogue from the movie.
Yeah, you say peace. I kind of think you mean the other thing, Fury said. From the vacuum chamber ceiling, Tesseract's energy cloud rapidly builds into what may be an implosion. Sir, Director Fury is stalling. This place is about to blow. Drop a hundred feet of rock on us. He means to bury us, Barton said. Like the pharaohs of Odin, Nick taunt them. He's right. The portal is collapsing in on itself. You maybe got two minutes before this go. He was cut off by a loud yell. <laughs> they turned to the storm the Tesseract were making and flew off the, the storm is a young man, probably 19 years old. He wore a high collar leather jacket, jeans, and shinobi sandal, and carry a big silver and blue scythe with three blades behind him. His white as snow hair been tied into a bun. His eyes are red flames that could describe as cozy. His hands is ash and smoke. The man dropped to the ground with a small boom, creating a spider-like crack on the ground. The man takes a deep breath before he stared at them. He blinked. Who the hell are you guys? Fury pointed his gun at him. Question is, who are you? He all but demanded. Loki, Prince of Asgard, Loki said firmly. firmly. Naruto, Prince of Olympus. Naruto said warily. <laughs> you guys didn't see that coming. You guys didn't see that coming, did you? Obviously, Naruto was going to show up sooner or later. It turned out to be later, much later. But did you expect it to be fucking Percy Jackson and the Olympians? I don't think you expected that shit. And for good reason. Maybe because it's fucking stupid? I don't know, just the thought. Now where am I? Naruto asked as he looked around. This place looked like as if his uncle Poseidon has thrown am earthquake at this place. <laughs> so bad. You are at Midgard, Loki said. Midgard? So I'm not in Earth then? You are in Earth. Midgard is just what Asgardian like to call, motherfucker. Fury said briefly. You, you can join me. I, I can feel your, you are power. Join me and rule this world together, Loki said, offering his hand. Inside, however, he were afraid of this man. He has so much power. Maybe he a god like Asgardian. He power could give Odin a run for his money. The man looked at him blankly. Nope, I didn't even know you, he said. We were silent for a moment. Well then, Loki, looking at Barton, who doesn't even hesitate, shoot. Fury, who fall to the ground. What? He turned and shoot at the blonde, who raised his hand. More blonde hate. Not really. Raised his hand and deflected the bullet. Barton grabs the case containing the Tesseract and leaves the lab with Loki, Selvig, and the other S.H.I.E.L.D. personnel Loki is controlling. Loki, Barton, Selvig, and the other S.H.I.E.L.D. personnel are in the parking lot of the facility, quickly gathering certain weapons. Agent Hill watches in confusion, referring to Loki. Clint, pointing to the Loki team, and Eid, these vehicles... Hill asked, Who's that? He didn't tell me, he replied. Agent Hill looks suspiciously at them as they get into the truck and turns to leave as she's walking away. She heard her director spoke through the walkie-talkie. Hill, do you copy? Loki and Barton gave her a pointed look. Fury is sitting up, pulling out the bullet, breathing heavily. Barton is, motherfucker? You are, motherfucker? Suddenly, Hill turns to shoot at Barton, 
but Barton is already pointing his gun at her and starts shooting. He moves the driver's seat of the truck and drives off as he'll keep shooting. Fury is holding his side, running. He's got the Tesseract. Track it down. Are you okay, Nick? You've been shot, man. I could heal you up if you want, Naruto offered. Nick shook his head. No, I'm fine. If you want to be a help, then help Agent Hill get that Tesseract back. Naruto nodded. You got it! He disappeared in a smoke and ash. Fury looked at where, where, where were once Naruto's spot before sprinting forward. The energy is brewing a storm from the vacuum chamber ceiling. Agent Hill slips into a jeep and follows after Barton's truck. Loki's trucks screech across the tunnel. Several shield trucks pull up to them. A drive-by shooting ensues. Loki, who stands on top of the bed of the truck, uses his scepter and emits energy blasts, flipping over shield trucks. They get in. The cars roar out after them. Agent Hill puts herself at a distance. In a flash of darkness, Naruto appeared beside her, making her squaked in surprise before pulling out a gun at him. Guys... What does squaked sound like? Like, what what sound is that? I think they meant squeaked. So what do you think... What do you, what do you think a squeak sounds like? That's a squake, chat. We invented a new sound tonight. I'm so proud of it. Waffle stomp sounds. <laughs> it's a squake. <laughs> she squaked in surprise. In surprised. Before pulling out a gun at him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses, gal. Fury sent me here to get the Tesseract back, he said. She looked at him reverently before putting her gun down. Fury races out of the hallway, avoiding falling pipes. The entire facility is now in a full earthquake, and there's a little asterisk here. I wonder what the point of that is. Her quills be squaking. <laughs> her quills be squaking. Angry scientist says, how long is this? This is so fucking long. And it's complete dog shit. And I'm not gonna fuck. I'm, I'm basically just gonna read the first chapter because this entire thing is dog shit. It's like they took the script of the movie, I guess. And just inserted Naruto into it, like, haphazardly. And also, for some reason, Naruto is a Percy Jackson character. This is amazing. We need to know what kind of bad this devolves into. I'll jump around in it a little bit, okay? Uh... Barton's arms reach out the open window and open fire. And it's all capitalized like the like the Switch game. Naruto raised his hand and deflect their bullet. Agent Hill figures, fuck it, and shoot her windshield, opening fire on Barton. If you shoot at your own fucking windshield, doesn't that just mean broken glass in your eyes? It's like, like instantly? Barton is an arms character now, yeah. Yeah, that just, be <laughs> that just means... <laughs> broken glass in your own fucking face. Fury bolts out of the facility and jumps into a helicopter. The surface of the pad gives way. Plunging the helicopter through the surface. But Fury's chopper barely 
makes it out. Still in a chase and drive-by sequence. <laughs> like, he thinks he's writing a movie script. Bartons pushes the pedal harder, which causes Agent Hill's Jeep to wobble out and put her back behind. The Tesseract's energy cloud now shrinks into a small ball of white light, then a cloud of blue light consume the entire facility and parts of the desert. Fury watches from below, a rapid buildup into what may be an implosion. Several miles away, Agent Coulson's van feels a jolt of the tex Tesseract's blast wave. The entire facility swallows, itself, swallows into itself, a terrifying implosion. The blast wave of the Tesseract causes the tunnel to cave in, making a moist cavern. Like an ocean wave, blinding crumbles of falling rock fall onto Agent Hill's jeep. Naruto wrapped his strong arm, not his weak arm, his strong arm. You know, his... his spanking it arm. Making her blushed at his strong arm. <laughs> and disappeared in a distortion-like teleportation. On the Barton's truck, they escape the tunnel and drive into the desert landscape. Fury's helicopter roars over Barton's truck. Loki looks up. From the chopper's door, it slides open, and Sonic the Hedgehog stands there holding a gun. You fucked with the wrong blue blur, you son of a bitch! Ready to get Prego punched? Sonic the Hedgehog inexplicably shows up next. I mean, what? like, why not, right? At this point, why not? Actually, why not? Loki looks at Fury and in a fit of rage, points his scepter, shoot out the blue light. Fuck, this, this is bad. Agent Hill were being tended by Naruto, who using his Iryo ninjutsu, healing jutsu, all the while she looked at his whisker mark in fascination. A lot of men still under, don't know how many survivors, she said, still looking at those adorable, but at the same time feral, whisker mark. Sound the general call. I want every living soul not working rescue looking for that brief case. It's a very short case. Rather, r roger that, she replied, still liking at his whisker mark. Colson, get back to base. This is a level seven brain cancer. Terminal seven. <laughs> this is a level seven brain cancer, Luigi. As of right now, we are at war, he firmly stated. What do we do? Fury stands there, thinking. He looks up. On his face is sign of hope. Yup, next I, I, next I pretty much working on this. But don't worry, I'm still at work. My Percy Jackson series. Just, I want to try something new. Definitely unique. About the harem. Don't worry, it going. I'm still thinking out who will be with Naruto and all that. See you soon. Chat, what? What is he- what is he talking about? What is a harem? I mean, I know what a harem is, but what is the harem- what, what is a harem in this context? Estoy de acuerdo. I am of... Acuerdo. Awesome job. It's going to be a collection of husbandos? 
Disclaimer, I don't own Naruto or Marvel and Percy Jackson. Guys, this is dog shit. Yeah, this is absolute shit. Naruto sighed as he stared Agent Hill in front of him. After they recru recruited the other super superhuman, as they called it, Naruto allowed them to drag him into interrogation room. He has a babe sitting there alike three hours already. Beep. Beep. How many times do I have to tell you I'm from another world? My name is Naruto Uzumaki. I have an accident and I stumbled here in your world. Believe it. Hill glared menacing, menacing at him, trying to intimidate him. But Naruto just tilted his head to the side cutely at her. <laughs> making her blushed a little at the cute displayed, but hardening herself. Wow, this is fucking brutal, guys. Holy shit. Uh, I know, like, Thor shows up and the Hulk shows up. It's, uh, it's fucking bad. This is because... After the previous two fan... I genuinely felt... After looking at fanfics on, on, on Wattpad for like fucking two hours today... I genuinely felt... That these were the only ones reading. Like, like worth reading. Honestly, I really did. They were so fucking bad. Um, Bun Time had actually... Was helping me look through the, the, the fanfics. Yeah. And uh, she was trying to help me find good ones. And she was just like, I can't believe. I can't believe how fucking bad these are. I can't believe. There was not Really, there was none like worth, worth reading. Like, I think that Naruto was not as good of an idea as I thought it was. Like, I, I vastly overestimated how many like quote-unquote entertaining Naruto fanfics that they were going to fucking be. I don't I don't know why I thought they were going to be... Because I thought, like, listen, Naruto, it's an IP that people get, like, really stupid about, you know? Like, I bet you there's going to be a lot of really stupid fix in there. No, they're, they're all terrible. They're all fucking terrible. What's up, Blaz Radic? Can't believe how bad these are. Like... I mean, I knew they were bad, but pick a franchise you're more familiar with next time. I, I watched all of Naruto. I'm extremely familiar with it. You don't get... Dude, I even watched Boruto a little bit. I don't think that's the problem. I think that the fanfics are just fucking genuine ass. Mike, I found a gem of an article claiming that Hollywood is using Wattpad... For good movie ideas. How do we know that this fic that we're reading right now doesn't predate the Avengers movie? You said you forgot most of it. I remember enough. I remember the point. Look up the date. We're assuming that this person copy-pasted the fucking Avengers script. Right? How do we know that Hollywood didn't copy-paste this fanfic? Do mods have the ability to add or remove emotes? No. Yeah, this is such fucking garbage. Fury chuckled, that guy gonna get many fish in this helicarrier. 
So I saw that, right? And then I scrolled up to try to figure out what the fuck they meant by that. Guys, what the fuck does that mean? Speaking of many fish... Can I see that Jesus, Naruto is Jesus fanfic real quick? Is that, did you guys put it in the, in the dock? It has gore. It has gore. That's the problem, guys. Like, you think you find a good one, right? And then it ends up being absolutely fucking cursed. So earlier today, and, and this happened several times, right? Like, I thought I found a real winner. It started like this. Naruto, he, he was sitting there. And he was, like, relaxing, you know? He was, like, looking at the clouds. And he was like, man, I never used to think about guys and fall in love with guys. It only used to be girls, but now it's guys. And I'm like, oh, what happened? The, f the f fucking 5G tower got installed? And I keep reading it, and it's r it, it, it was funny, right? It was funny. Like, something, like, there was a big mystery about, like, something turned Naruto gay. Yeah. And I keep reading it, and then it, it got to a point where it was like, just... No, you, you, know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean by no? Just no, it, it became no. Very quickly. Something turned Naruto get Yeah, it was... It became no. It became no real quick. Look at this. Jutsu absorp absorption. Naruto and Captain America dropped to the ground. I bet you didn't think you were going to see this sentence when you woke up today. Naruto raised his hand and absorbed the beam before he used smaller scale. Shinra Tensei Shore Pipi. That pushed Loki to his ass. You know, the last time I was in Germany and saw a man standing above everybody else, we ended up disagreeing. Steve, mo Steve mockingly said. Who the fuck is Steve mockingly? I don't remember that character from the Avengers. Who the fuck is Steve mockingly? The last time I was in Germany and saw a man standing above everybody else, we ended up disagreeing. It's a Hitler joke, but little do you know that it's it's like from the Avengers movie. It's from the Avengers movie, probably. I, I mean, I don't remember this movie. That's an exact line from the movie. On fucking believable. I'm immortal, you little piece of shit. Naruto taunted him, making him scowl a little. Captain America said, ignoring their divine status banter. I'm not the one who's out of time. From above Naruto and Cap. Oh, here's the Cap. The Quinjet arrives. A machine gun is pointed towards Loki. From the jet, the sexy voice of Natasha said, Loki, drop the weapon and stand it down. In retaliation, Loki sends a blast of blue at the Quinjet. Natasha maneuvers just in time, giving Cap and Naruto the time to throw they shield and kunai at Loki. Loki flings Cap to the ground. Cap then throws his shield, but Loki swats it away. Swats it away. Naruto dashed forward doing a Naruto run and used his big three-headed scythe to block Loki scepter. This guy's all over the place. Natasha mutter about the author of this fanfic. How does a three-headed scythe work? Because I never saw Naruto with the three-headed scythe, I've been assuming that the three-headed scythe is a Percy Jackson thing. Right? 
Is it a Percy Jack? Who knows Percy Jackson? All they know how to do is eat hot Cheetos, throw their shield, and lie. <laughs> Make your move, reindeer games. Guys, I hate this. I don't remember it even being that easy. This guy packs a wallop, he said. Naruto nodded along with Steve, agreeing with him. Loki is slick and full of tricks. He can't deny that. He come all the way to German to get the Iridium and just surrender? Just like that? Naruto knew Loki has something up his sleeve. He just need to keep an eye on him. Still, you are pretty spry for an older, older fellow. What's your thing, Pilates? That reeks of the way that they write those fucking Marvel movies. It's definitely taken directly from the film. What? Steve said confusingly. He's still trying to wrap his head around the future thingy. He missed a lot of things. The person who wrote this doesn't even know what Pilates are. It's like calisthenics. You might have missed a couple of things, you know, doing time as a capsicle. Wow, this fanfic sure is terrible. Can you believe this, this writing? Can you believe these awful attempts at comedy? I can't. What an amateur. What an obvious amateur. God. Terrible, terrible writing. Steve looks at Tony annoyingly. Hey, yo, it's me, Tony annoyingly from the family. You owe us some money. Pay up or I'll break your kneecaps. Hey, yo, everybody, look at Tony annoyingly. Tony two tits. Finally, meeting reached his ego match. Fury didn't tell me he was calling you in. There's a lot of things Fury doesn't tell you. He retorted back, making Steve raised an eyebrow at him. <sighs> She can only raise both eyebrows. She can't raise one at a time. Even though I can do that. I'm just... I'm just scanning it. Alright, here's Thor. Thor is here now. Okay, if you saw the movie, you've seen the story already. Fuck this. Bruce were waiting for the team to came back from their mission with Loki in his handcuff before suddenly he bre breath hitched in his throat. His eyes turning flickered between green and black in a deep, angry voice, he growled, Must smashed puny Goldilock. Sudenki. Bruce stepped backward, his eyes turning into black again. He rubbed his eyes and muttered, What was that about? Is the puny Goldilock Naruto? Is that what, is that what I'm supposed to get out of this? Somebody in chat said that they saw the word bromance up here. So he's trying to ship Naruto with one of the one of the Avengers. I'm not seeing it. Look how look how bad this is. Oh, there's a Sharon gun. A Rinny Sharon gun? Suddenly, he smell ozone from his back and put his palm at Thor direction, who was released a stream of lightning Mjolnir at Naruto. The lightning coiled around his hand like a snake. You, you saw... 
Majolnir. Bromance. Am I interrupting the bromance between you and King of Douchebag there? Guys, I'm so confused. Thor and Naruto crash into the forest. Thor rolls himself up. Naruto is still standing but keeps his distance. I don't think this is dialogue from the movie. I don't think this is dialogue from the Avengers, e even though it, like, could be. It kind of could be. I, uh, interrupting the bromance between you and King of Douchebag. Who is King of Douchebag? Oh, this is fucking brutal. Lazradic says, I can't come to this shit. I'm out. That's what everybody was saying yesterday about Space Jam 2. You know what's funny about that, though? These motherfuckers are worried that they're not going to be able to mas masturbate to this fucking movie. When people were jerking off to the fucking My Little Pony cartoon. People will jerk off to anything. Why Why are you fucking worried? Why? Like, you, you really think this is going to stop people? You really think the, 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 the fucking character redesign is going to stop people from, from jacking off to that movie? Really? I saw an amazing parody article. It was like... Fans outraged that Warner Brothers... Has reduced the size of Elmer Fudd's dick, so you can't see it dang dangling out of the bottom of his basketball shorts. <laughs> oh, it's woke culture. No, Elmer Fudd's penis. No, 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 not Elmer Fudd's penis. No. I'm so angry! Arr! I need my fun penis! Arr! 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 Elmer's dick cancelled by liberals. <laughs> What's even the point if I can't see fun penis? Yeah. Peach cancel culture. Can you believe it? Wow. <laughs> Let's go wild. You just made the wor worst mistake of your life. Believe it. I was going to point out that they don't know the difference between your and your, right? But then I realized that that's the least of this fucking thing's problems. For the harem, I won't tell you spe specifically, but you already know two of them. I am immortal. That's funny to me. What? Like... What? The fuck? Big mood right now. Big fucking mood right now, guys. From the mountainside, Loki watches in amusement. Thor raises his hand. Majolnir flies back to his hand. Thor swings! His hammer from side to side, summoning a ray of energy. Naruto throw Hirai Shinkunai and flash in front of him, and he knocks Thor into a tree. Thor, kneeling on the ground, pulls Majolnir to his hand, raises it to the skies, and pulls in lightning and thunder. Thor points the hammer at Naruto, and the outpouring of bolts, lightning, increases in intensity. Naruto is going to get banhammered. 
He felt juice up before he released the stream of lightning at Thor. The lightning hit him and knocked him a few feet away from Naruto. Naruto kicked the shit out of Thor. Does that seem realistic to you, though? Knowing what you know about both of these characters and, like, taking it at face value, do you think that... Yeah, do you think Naruto could, could, could defeat Thor? Naruto smiled. Goldilocks, my name and impossible is not a same thing. Believe it! He then gripped the handle of the hammer and throw it back at Thor. So he... <laughs> It took Captain America like eight movies before he could pick up the hammer. And now fucking Naruto is picking up the hammer within five minutes. <laughs> Alright. It must be the fucking ten tail fox energy or whatever the fuck. How is he worthy? I don't know. Soruto, yeah. <laughs> Soruto. And Thor's like, that's not possible, because it's literally not possible. Captain America's shield ricochets off both Thor and Naruto, stopping them. Whatever, fuck you. Cap Crouchia down and holds up his shield. Are you are you seeing the, the length of this, guys? He sighed troublesome. He murmured unknown to him. A certain pineapple shaped hair sneezed before he muttered vagina pineapple and staring at the cloud. Look at this man. You know why it's so long? Because it doesn't really take a lot of effort to completely plagiarize something. There was a thing that actually I remember seeing that I'm trying to find. I want to know why Loki let us take him. He's not leading an army from here, Steve said. I don't think we should be focusing on Loki. That guy's brain is a bag full of cats. You could smell crazy on him. Chad, what does crazy smell like? That, again, that reeks of real dialogue. That man is playing Galaga. Real dialogue. Button size hacking implant under Fury's desk. I hate this. I hate this. Look here, you really have got a lid on it, haven't you? What's your secret? Mellow jazz, bongo drums, huge bag of weed. Real quote from that movie. Okay, here we go. Steve taken aback at what Tony just said. I'm sorry, did you say... Jarvis has been running it since I hit the bridge. In a few hours, we'll know every dirty secret S.H.I.E.L.D. has ever tried to hide. He holds out a bag of blueberries. Blueberry? Yet you're confused about why they didn't want you around. Steve asked, as Naruto take a few berries from Tony. Yeah, the, ber the berries are back, guys. And as far as I can tell, they are completely irrelevant to the fucking story. Completely irrelevant to the entire fucking story. There's no reason for the berries to be here. The berries don't get mentioned again, just like last time. <laughs> just... Now, I have another question. I just I just want to be 
I just want to be thorough here. In the Avengers movies, Chekhov's berries, yeah. Is there a scene where the Avengers are eating blueberries? At all? Is there any point, like a dialogue scene where they're eating blueberries? No? I know about the shawarma. That's real. There is a scene where Tony Stark is eating blueberries. The berries were improved in the actual movie. Robert Downey Jr. just likes to snack on set or something. So in this fanfic, Tony, all right, so in the movie, Tony Stark is eating blueberries. And then Stark, okay, that actually did happen. I was kind of hoping this person randomly inserted blueberries. See, I wanted to be sure. Thanos turns into blueberries at the end of, of Endgame. <laughs> He already is blueberries. He was blueberries the whole time. Well, in this fanfic, Naruto takes him up on the offer and eats some blueberries. Fuck, that's making me hungry. The blueberries just made me realize how fucking starving I am. I hate this. In fact, fuck this. I'm gonna go eat. I need to eat. You missed the dissociation. It's all dissociation! I'm going to eat. Fuck this. I hate this. Hold on. I just... The Hulk marks his territory. So Hulk pissed on the wall in front of everybody? That's new. That definitely didn't happen in the Avengers movies. I would remember that. I would remember that if that happened. <laughs> Hulk pee? Guys, the Hulk pee's monster energy drink, that's where monster energy drink comes from. Facts. He pees monster. That's how it's made. It's Hulk pee. You didn't know that? Oh, fuck. No, I'm not gonna keep reading this. This thing's fucking stupid. So let me thank everybody uh, for coming. Because I don't have any- I don't have anything else to read. I'm telling you, it was really slim pickings, guys. And I learned- I learned something today. Uh, I- I think... I think that the first two- two fix were, like, alright. But... I- I can't go look for these fix the- the day that I'm gonna do the stream. Because then it's like, oh my god, I don't have my homework, and I have to be in class in like an hour, and I don't have my homework. Nah, I learned a lesson tonight. I'm sorry I didn't have... Yeah, I didn't have better, uh, better fix. You know what it is? I, I just, I kept procrastinating it until it was too late. It's not gonna happen again. I'll get, be I'll get better fix next time. Uh, and also I apologize for the, the, the fucking technical difficulties. This whole night was a fucking... Clusterfuck. It was, yeah, it was a dumpster fire. I'm sorry, guys. But thank you for watching non nonetheless. Thank you for coming. And thank you for supporting. Uh, there were some gift subs, subs, resubs, bits, guys. Thank you so much. Um, and again, if you're new, there's a Twitter, there's, uh, there's YouTube channels. There's going to be links in the chat. Uh, I'm going to look at the art. Yep, I'm going to look. Uh, so put it, put it on the Buru. I don't think anyone expects perfection from these chaotic streams. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where it's, it, it, it can't be, it can't be good all the time, right? Say goodbye to Jabroni Champ. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Love you. Yay. <laughs> hey, fuck, hey, fuck. Fuck, come. And she's dead. Oh, wait, no, we gotta, we gotta send her off in style. I'm not ready to do it. I'm not correct. I'm not senpai. No, don't do that, senpai. No. Senpai, please. Not my neck. Oh, senpai, no. Ow. Oh, Ow, fuck. Oh, I can't, I can't get her to do it again. I can't even get her neck to snap properly. 
I put my hands over my eyes and I moved to the bottom left of the camera to make her neck snap. I can't snap her neck. No. No exorcism moment. Sorry, guys. All right, let me get, let me get rid of I'm cute. I tried. I tried to snap her neck. I couldn't. Oh. We'll start with this. So the other night, I said, man, it'd be really useful if I had a PNG of that anime girl with the girl's face. And Culrich made it. Hey, Culrich, dude. You fucked up. Because I am going to use this for evil. I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of this, and it's going to be bad. Like, you made a mistake. You put this power in the wrong fucking hands, my dude. Believe me. <laughs> he fucked up. Oh, th 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 get ready to see this fucking thing everywhere. Coleridge, thank you so much. Get ready. Uh... Okay, so this is, um, wait. This is art from Peachy Froggy. <laughs> She's ever, nope, it's not Majima anymore. <laughs> no, Peachy Froggy made uh, Yakuza art. Majima, you know I can't read English. What does this say? Uh, it says, Best Friends Forever. Spoilers for those of you who can't read English. That's not what it says. <laughs> Thank you, Peachy Froggy. Love it. This is from Bun Time. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Bun Time. This is adorable. Wow. Some Jabroni Chan art. Uh, she's cute as fuck. That's a very cute take on Jabroni Chan Bun Time. I love this. I like how she's uh, a rabbit down here. And I like how over here she's. I'm cute. It's really nice, Bun Time. Thank you. You're very, very talented. <laughs> I love it, Bun Time. Thank you. Um, we've seen similar art to this before. Huto made uh, Jabroni Chan uh, backing away from that that knife, right? I don't know, something about this character inspires people to draw this in this meme format or whatever, but, uh, Huto, I love it, thank you. The smug cat. Yeah, because she's a smug bitch. Thanks, bud. Um, there's more. This one's from Schmedley. Wow, really, really nice, like, line work there, man. Holy shit. Love this, thank you. Holy shit! Whoa, that's rad! Thanks a lot, Schmedley. Uh, there's a few more. So this is from Auspicious Funkus. <laughs> yeah, we hold cock gay. Yeah, keep scrolling. And of course, it's, uh... Garfield as Naruto being gay with uh, Sasuke Griffin. Am I seeing that right? <laughs> Man, where where were the, the fucking Naruto slash Garfield fix? Where was the Naruto X like Peter Griffin fix? Like, where were those? Why couldn't I find those, man? Where was that shit? Images that kill you. Look, look, 
I'm t guys, it wasn't for a lack of looking, trust me. But thank you, uh, Aesop's. Uh, no, uh, auspicious Funkus, sorry. Yeah, we all cocked it. Keep scrolling. There's more. One sec. It's a pretty sweet meme format. Let me get rid of this bitch. Naruto fanfics and Sonic fanfics. They come together on one thing, and that's sucking. <laughs> oh, incredible. Fucking incredible. Treacherous Fiend says, You might need to branch out a bit instead of only using Wattpad. Well, uh, Fiend, here's the thing, and this is going to be hard to believe for, for some of you to believe or understand. But other fanfic websites have, uh, what's the word? Standards? Uh, like, what was the other one that we were looking at earlier, Bun Time? Uh, the one... There was one that we were looking at. The, the fanfics were, like, they were, like, too good. They were too well-written. They were, like, competently written. Um, nothing remotely, like, interesting was happening in any of these fics. You know? It's like... If you wanna- if you wanna submit fanfics, right? There should be, like, a rule set for this. There's gotta be something going on in- in this fic... ...that makes it... ...fucking stupid. Okay? Like, tonight. What do we have? We had Naruto cross over with fucking Marvel Universe, which was absolute dog shit. But, like, I would prefer that over, I don't know, here, here's, here's you know, just a serious story that fucking takes place in this Naruto universe that has absolutely nothing of, of, of note going on, you, you know? Like, I need, I need something... I need something dumb happening, right, in the story. I need something dumb in there. Can the fanfics be intentionally stupid? I, I think sometimes, yes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, yes. But not all the time. Right, I also want, like, unironic garbage. If something isn't dumb, it just feels sad. Exactly, exactly. Uh, you know, anything with, like, you know, romance, uh, usually is pretty funny to me, uh, you know, like, I, I thought the Sasuke and Naruto one was, was pretty funny, uh, what was the first one that we looked at? I don't even fucking remember. Before, b before my computer exploded, what were we looking at? What was the, the, the fic before the, oh yeah, Kakashi being turned into a dog. Something dumb like that. I think that was a per that's actually a perfect example. Why? Why is Kak Kakashi being turned into a dog? Right? Something dumb like that is what is what I'm looking for. Anyway, thank you, Easy Evil. Just make it, you know, make it stupid. Make it tasty. Make it stupid. This one's from Carrie and Dal. Carrion Dell uh, is Jabroni Chan's parent, initially. Uh, there she is doing the big. Ah! Very cute, Carrion Dell. Thank you. Yeah, I eat dog shit now. <laughs> yeah, the highlights on the hair. That's a nice color. Very cool, Carrion Dell. Thanks. Um. Alright, so this is from Shala, or Shala Shapussy Zeal. It says, name a cuter couple, I'll wait. What is the- is that what I fucking think that is? Who made this? Who made this? 
Does he know that 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 this model exists? He'll kill you. He'll he'll, he'll kill you. He'll kill you. He'll fucking kill you. Yeah, he he'll actually kill you. <laughs> it's on the vine boomer right now. You better not let him see it. <laughs> you better not let him see it. <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks, Shala. It's fucking awful. <laughs> That's god awful. Great. It's fucking absolutely, absolutely disgusting. He already saw the model a while ago. Alright, then he probably already killed. This one's from uh, Nikolich. Uh, it's her. She's fucking beautiful, rocking that designer choker. Love this. Thank you so much. Yeah, if Vinny finds out about that, he's gonna do, do a fucking Liam Neeson. I will find you, and I will kill you. I have a particular set of skills. He'll go Liam Neeson on your ass if he finds out. <laughs> so this is from Nihilist Gangster. It's a meme. So here's, here's the things I've killed. Applebee's. Well, casual dining. Caillou. Fuck, I love that. Wattpad. <laughs> and finally, my own stream. <laughs> knock, knock. Open up, bitch. <laughs> I gotta do a violence to him, Fax, yeah. What is that? The Sonic 06 Prima Strategy Guide? <laughs> Uh, I leave a lot of bodies in my wake, it's true. Um, thank you, Nihilist Gangster. I murdered my own stream tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that's great. Uh, this is from Caracal. Uh, it's... Like, oh. Yeah, you know what it is. You know what it is. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Now this is a thing. <laughs> it's insanely cute though. Isn't it? A much better character than Sakura. <laughs> Jabroni Chan Naruto, yeah. She's from the clown village, right? Uh, I love it, Caracal. Thanks. Oh, fuck. Look at this from Quartz. Go to horny hell. So a uh, totally from, from scratch, bottom up take on the bonk meme. The bonk gif. But it's done with Jabroni Chan. Oh, this quartz, this is awesome. Wow. Damn, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to refresh and see if there's any more. There is. Uh, Escaped Lobster has supplied a, a comic for us tonight. <clears throat> Mike's house in New York metro area. And for some reason, it says come outside the house. And the sun is moisty. Yeah. It says come. Uh, and this is... Oh, right, right. So this is when my fucking house exploded earlier. Uh, and then it says dead. And there's Jabroni Chan with the snapped neck. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much the situation of what took place over here, Lobster. You nailed it. Art imitates life once again. Uh, I'm going to see you guys on Sunday, I think. Sunday is going to be more Mario 3D World, right? I want to I wanna beat Bowser's Fury. I mean, Fury. So we'll get to that Sunday. Uh, I'm going to go eat because I'm fucking starving. 
Uh, guys, I love you. Again, thank you for uh, sticking with me through all the horse shit tonight. You guys are fucking awesome. And I will see you soon.